So, I bark on a song. What? You shake a pretty mean cake, Batman. I'm about to waste my fucking money on the M&M Funko. Hey! Me too, stop! Excuse Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Bring me that horizon. Afraid I got lost on the path of life. You gotta go, you gotta go. What's going on, people? What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Yo, you people. We got, uh, we got, we, uh, we got Pilgrim in the chat. He's going to apparently report me for racism. So, yeah, it's fun. And he's right. No, I'm kidding. So, hey, buddy, I say we just get, I say that we get just, I say that we just get right on into how Crosshair's carrying the Star Wars franchise on his back. Like, white, literally. Well, he's like, carrying this show on his back. He is the yep. reason why the show's even like. You know what I like? I, decently. I will recount one of my statements from last week. Now, I still fucking hate the thing. I hate Batcher. But. Okay, but. It would but. Much, I, I much rather the fact now that Batcher likes Crosshair more than anybody else. Just chills by his side the whole time. So I'm like, all right, as long as it's not freaking Amiga, betcha, all the time. Like, he never has once said its name. He just goes here, and it, like, runs over. I'm like, all right. Like, I'm kind of liking, I'm kind of liking this, like, new version of him. Like, he's, like, different, but he's not different at, at the same time. No, he's, that... like, he had, he's, he's less... Well, here's the thing. You gotta think of like his character, right? He's cool, cool, calm, and collected, like most of the time. And like very analytical and very like gruff, aggressive. He's like Emil from Halo Reach. Yeah. That's yeah. what he's like. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. And 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 George is Wrecker. Holy fuck, wait. Holy fuck, wait, 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 wait. Is the Bad Batch Noble team? Is they the Bad are, Batch bro. Noble team? They are, bro. Hunter's they are Noble Car teams. Dude, what? Hunter is Carter. Yeah. Echo, okay. Echo is like a mixture between Six and fucking Te and, uh, Cat. Tech is literally Cat. And then Hunter is Wrecker. Or not Hunter, fucking George is Wrecker. And then Crosshair is a mixture between Emil and June. They're literally noble team. I do agree with what uh, Pilgrim said here, though. Depending on how his story finishes, Crosshair might be the best Disney Star Wars I agree. character. I, I Dude, I agree. It's been the yeah, most interesting. Same. I love the line. Before we get like throughout the entire episode, I really like the line where he goes, I risked my life to get her out. I did that so that you would come and get her, not me, so that she didn't have to do that. I, no, not that, not to get her out. I risked my myself to warn you that Hemlock was coming, and you let her get captured. You were the fuck up, not me. And that I like that because he's not wrong. Also, he you know how you did. thought that they weren't gonna have that conversation? They had that conversation. Yeah, but he cared. See, but they skipped it. They skipped the first one. Yeah, I wasn't yeah, wrong true. about that. I was right about true, the fact that the next episode is going to start. We're going to skip that first interaction. True, true, yeah. So yeah. that we never got. I wasn't saying the conversation wouldn't happen. I was saying the first interaction would not happen, and it didn't. True, yeah, and, true, true. Um, the other thing is, like, Crosshair 
he's you can see in season one in the very beginning that Omega's getting to him, and the reason he's so standoffish towards her is he doesn't like the fact that she gets to him. Yeah. Like when they're first captured, or not first captured, but they're first like no, yeah. They're first captured because they fuck up the mission in the very first episode when Amp- Empire sends them to go kill civilians. And they're like, mm-hmm. no. They say no and they leave. And then they get put in prison and on Camino. And, and uh, Omega's talking to him. And she's like, You love your brothers. Like, they're your, like, all this other shit. He's like, Go away. You know what I mean? Like, you can tell, like, She's always getting to him. And then by season two, after what happens to Commander Mayday, which... I was going to say, I think that's what changed him. Like, that was I, think Mayday, was... I don't think that fully changed him. I think throughout that season, you see his... Cha- I think, actually, the destruction of Kamino is what really changed him. Mm. The end of season one, but he still stayed. Mm. And then, by that point with Mayday, he's like... And what happened to Cody? Cody defecting? When he did a mission with mm-hmm. Cody, he found out Cody left. And they used to work together all the time. I don't know if you guys remember, but the Bad Batch is brought in in Season 7 of Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. On Cody's recommendation. Because mm-hmm. Cody worked with that specific squad on personal missions many times with him and Obi-Wan. They worked with the Bad Batch together. Which mm-hmm. is why Cody calls them in. So it makes perfect sense that Crosshair is like, I'm with one of my team members, basically. Like, I'm with the homie. And then you find out that that homie defected. Then you're like, oh. And then Mayday dies. And then that's when he kills the Imperial. And then he gets... They're trying to give Crosshair... They're trying to give him the Zuko arc, but it's different. It's different, I think. Yeah, but the Fire Nation is the Empire. Like, yeah. the Fire Nation that, like, him trying to please the Empire is Zuko trying to please his father. Yeah. Going, fuck you, and... But Crosshair's whole thing is that good Only soldiers Zuko doesn't kill somebody. follow orders. Zuko just doesn't kill somebody to turn. He just leaves. He yeah. Just, he just leaves yeah. in, in season three. He yeah. just leaves. Right? I said, like... Yeah, it's season it's... three. Beginning of season three. I think it's... I I think it's different, but like the sentiments the same. I think that oh, Filoni did work it's a on redemption Avatar. arc. Filoni did work on Avatar. Yeah, so There's a lot of lashes. Can't help it, can he? I'm sorry, I keep scratching my eyelashes. It's like an eyelash I keep seeing. I can't get out. Um, I mean, yeah, Filoni did direct some Clone Wars episode or Avatar episodes. I actually think he did Zuko alone, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I think yes. Filoni worked also. On- this is also true. Redemption yes. is the main theme of Star Wars, in my opinion. Redemption and hope; yeah. those are the two main themes. You never lose hope; always have redemption. You could, anyone can be redeemed. But here's the thing: George has said anyone in Star Wars can be redeemed, except for Palpatine. Except for Palpatine, everybody else in Star Wars has the possibility of being redeemed. But he is so. I cool. remember him saying that. Yeah. Yeah, like. Oh yeah, it's definitely more fine with that. But there is, like, some aspects. Like, obviously, guys, come on. This episode had Dune references. You got the little yes. fucking eggs in the ground that instead of going, like, boom, boom, they go, like, me, 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 And what are they doing? Detecting a giant fucking worm under the ground. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a yeah. Dune reference. It's a Dune ref. Instead of calling it like they do in Dune, because they use those things to call it, they thump on the ground to call the, to call the worm. In this, it detects the worm. Instead of right. instead of uh, sand, it's snow. So it's like, but come on, come come on, and you release this episode the week after Dune comes out. Come on. You think that they timed that on yeah, purpose? They're in Dune one. They're in Dune one. The thumpers. They're in Dune one. So yes. and the and the worms. There's one worm in Dune one. You see at the end. So. Yeah, it was definitely a Dune reference. And I have, like, now that I... I don't know how I never caught this, that they're literally an amalgamation. Bad Batch is an amalgamation of Noble Team. I don't know how I ever caught dude, that. I, dude, I didn't pick it up until honestly, you literally just... Rex, Rex could be Noble Six. Because he, like, he just shows up. It, it's like, come on. 
Come on. A little bit of a side note, really fast. That final mission in Reach still breaks my heart, bro. Survive, bro. That's like one of the saddest yes. missions I've ever played. I don't know, dude. I think Halo 3 outdoes that one with Sergeant Johnson. And Cortana, yeah, true. And, and finally getting back to Cortana and Johnson's on the ground. Don't let her go. Don't shoot no, ever. My favorite level, let her go. level of Halo is the Warthog run at the end of Halo 3. That's just the Warthog run in 1, 2, and 3. True. No, but. One's is so, the longest. One's is the hardest. That shit. Because that Warthog is like a fucking lead brick when it goes over any ledge. So that's the ones. Ones on legendary <laughs> is a pain, bro. Oh my ones god! Ones on legendary is a pain. That final fucking mission. It's the it's the one with the run. It's the final fucking mission where you have to throw grenades, or if you're lucky, you have a rocket launcher, and you have to blow up the fucking reactors. But there's like hunters and flood and fucking el- it, all this shit coming, and you're like on legendary the whole time. This little dickhead is floating around, going like. <laughs> Ah, Spartan Reclaimer, you'll never do. I'm like, fuck you. Like, it's, and like, you can't jump in that game. So, like, to jump over to that platform is a pain in the ass. And that whole room is a fucking maze. It sucks. Mm-hmm. I hate that part of that mission, but the whole rest of it's good. But that part sucks so much ass, dude. Especially on Legendary. And if you're alone, you're going to be all stuck on that part for. See, like, the thing is. Because the flood is the so like... like... <laughs> and you're just dead. Instantly, just and then they start sending out mad mad flood with energy swords and fuel rod cannons. Yep. And I'm like, fuck you. Dude. What is this? Dude, like... dude, the zombie flood that, that could hold like guns is wild, bro. That's like some wild stuff. The way they explain it in the book is horrifying. It's really horrifying. So what happens wow. is there's little flood that like crawl on the ground. Uh huh. Yeah. Spinal cord. Any way they can reach it. So they have like that in between the tentacles is a mouth like a like a octopus. But that mouth is literally a steel tip drill. And they drill into the back of your spinal cord, and all their tentacles go into you. What the. F- and then that's what, what like makes you. That's what makes you go like. <laughs> Like you like start turning into like they instantly rewrite your DNA, but you Ew. still but you still are conscious the whole time. And Captain Keys in Halo One was conscious until Chief punched through his head and took his neural chip out. Even though he's he up- was conscious when he was doing that, he was conscious. That there's, would be awful. There's whole chats like- from his perspective where basically because the flood they were trying to turn him into a grave mind. And because the flood is learning from you, it keeps taking your memory. So you slowly lose your memories and slowly lose who you are until you're just a consciousness there. And when Chief came up, he remembered the helmet. And actually in the book, the last words of Keys, Chief can barely hear the guttural of just, kill me. And he does. It's not in the game. That's crazy. Look, it's hard. That's crazy. And you follow this. Remember when Chief picks up the helmet in Halo 1 and takes the chip out, puts it in? Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, you get attacked and Johnson's there. That Marine yeah, yeah. Private, um, fuck. Fuck. I can't believe, Private, no. Fuck, why can't I remember his name? It's like a simple name. Oh, this poor guy. Every other chapter of Halo the Flood, which takes place all of Halo 1, the whole book is Halo 1, every other chapter is about not Chief. It's about, like, Marines or, like, ODSTs on this part of the ring or, like, them trying to take over the ship that they end up blowing up because the humans want to take the Covenant ship and take the Flood back to Earth to test it. And and this one ODST you sure is, like, about Locke? And this one, <laughs> no, no, and this one ODST is, like, this is a horrible fucking idea, and she actually ends up killing all the humans on that ship and blowing it up because they're all trying to bring the flood back to Earth. And and she dude, knows, I gotta read the Halo books. Dude, I never read them. Start with Fall of Reach. I gotta read the Halo books. So start with the first uh, four, which is the Fall of Reach, which came out right before Halo One, 
And then nice. when Halo 1 came out, it was The Flood. And then it's nice. first, first Strike and Ghost of Onyx. That's like the blue the blue team story of like Chief Blue Team and like Halo 1 to Halo 1 into 2 cuz First Strike nice. happens in between 1 and 2. And then by 3 you know Chief's not in that book. It's about the rest of Blue Team, what's happening on Onyx during 3 cuz Onyx is like another planet. So yeah, it's mm. it's real like those four are the ones to read first, and then Glasslands, the Thursday War, and Mortal Dictata. That is the Kilo Five trilogy, and I think that would be the fundamentally best Halo show. Like after you make Halo one, like make a movie, right? Make the Halo movies, make Fall of Reach. They're not gonna do that once, now. I know, but make make like they might years down the line, but if they do and someone does it right, you what the way to do it is. You have the movies. You have Reach, one, two, three. Boom. Great fucking movie. All great, great four movies. But then, here's the way that you really, like, get people into it. Now you have a Halo TV show. But guess what? That Halo TV show doesn't have Chief. It takes place in the Halo universe. And it's the Kilo 5 trilogy, which takes place right after Halo 3. So it's perfect because these these can't be movies. They need to be like a show or an anime or something. And Halo anime would go crazy. There is some. A Halo anime? There is some. If you look up Halo Legends, it's an old movie. Uh, and it's like a two-hour movie of just all these different Halo, like different anime studios, kind of like what Star Wars uh, Visions did. Nah, man, look. Actually, I think the some best of Star Wars Vision Halo show, Red versus Blue. Forever. Hands down. And Red Forward Unto Dawn was good. Forward Unto Dawn was good to be a live action. That's the best live action Halo we've gotten. That and like Halo Landfall, which is Peter Jackson's little dude. Produ- Just production. before we get back on to the Bad Batch, how did they fumble the Halo show? It was right there. It was right there, bro. It was right fumble, there. Roman, how do you fumble any of the things they fumbled? Let's be honest here. Oh, the other thing we got to talk about today, uh, after Bad Batch, uh, the Fallout trailer for the new Fallout TV show made by the same people at Amazon that made your lovely rings of power. We'll see. Great. Will it be oh. good or will it be another... Video game adaptation that just fails. Now, here's the thing. So, video game adaptations, I understand why people didn't like the uh, Assassin's Creed one. However, yeah, I'm a big Fastbender fan, and that's a fun movie on its own. Like, if Assassin's Creed wasn't a already established franchise, I'd enjoy it. I can't say the same for this Halo show. If Halo wasn't already an established franchise, this show would still be bad. Now, the Assassin's Creed movie isn't good. It's not great, but it's enjoyable. So I think there is some adaptation. I just don't, I just don't think it captured what made the OG Assassin's Creed game. Uh, they should have just, left. if they were smart, they would have just made it about Ezio. Skip Altair. No. Have Altair as like a shimmer in the past, you know? Like have him yeah, like, like I guess. up to Ezio. You wouldn't have to start with And Ezio movie would have been crazy. That would have been great. And that would have been great. Well, because because here's the thing in the in Ezio or like Assassin's Creed 2, who the fuck you meet all these famous people, you become best friends with fucking Da Vinci. You Machiavelli helps train you how to become an assassin. Like dude, the Borgias, bro. The Borgias, like, dude, there's so much cool shit in two that would like resonate with a lot of people. So I you think just, they yeah. just I, mean, I get it. Two is a long slog of a fucking game. It is a long game. You it can is. Cut out all the fetch quest missions and shit. <laughs> so, dude, dude, you just cut out looking for a thousand feathers and you're fine. <laughs> like, like the Nostradamus paintings that you have to find. Like, <laughs> fuck those things. I found them all too. The but... only cool side mission that I like from Assassin's Creed is trying to piece together the like you know truth. That's like you know. Oh, no, I, the only my, thing. My favorite side mission in any Assassin's Creed was finding the Mayan Stelays in uh, Black Flag. 
you had to find yes. all these Mayan like temples. And then once you got to them, you'd like unlock this puzzle, you'd get a piece. It's like some Indiana Jones shit. And then what's up, Kenobi? And then he must be talking about himself. Um, it's not June yet, Kenobi. You could wait a couple more months. Um, and then at the end of like it which is really hard to do, so it's kind of like it you won't do it until you're towards the end of the game, usually, because some of the locations you can't go right. to. And you have to get one of them when you're in Africa, I think. Or else you don't have the the option or something. There's like one mission where you have to get it there. And I really enjoyed that fetch quest because it wasn't really a fetch quest. It was like you find one randomly and you're like, what the fuck is this thing? And it goes one out of how many? And then it'll show it on the islands. So you have to go find it. And when you do, you go to this ancient Mayan temple that like is made of this weird like obsidian. Har har. Hi. But it's like this weird obsidian temple that opens up and has this like it's the apple. The apple's there, I think. Or like it's it's, yeah. it's something yeah. like it's something like it, and you talk to this fucking oh no, man, that's the end of Black Flag. That's the end of it. The the Mayan temple one is different, it's very similar, but it's one of those like fucking black obsidian temples from the ancients and you go in there and then you get this armor that's like Mayan armor but it, it's like full body suit but it still has like Mayan shit and feathers hanging from it and stuff it's bulletproof yeah you can't be shot you're it's bringing all, back memories oh it's fucking sounds I mean, awesome once you get that shit and I actually would take the armor off sometimes because I'm like this is too OP like, I'd never get shot. Like, yes. It's, like, too OP. I mean, it was worth it True. to get it, but True. it looks badass. But I, I liked being dressed as Captain Morgan instead. That was more fun. I love Assassin's Creed 2, but there's something about Brotherhood's vibe that, like, you know, I just love more, bro. The only thing that sucks I... about Brotherhood is that as soon as you finish the campaign, you can't do anything. Revelation's cool, though. But that's like the that's like the I weakest. Re- I don't think I ever beat Revelations. That the one where um, Desmond dies, or is that Brotherhood? No, no, nah, because Desmond's Desmond, in three. Desmond, I think. Is it three where he dies? Where he gets stabbed? He he dies in three. Yeah. 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 Okay. That was yeah. so fucking stupid, dude. They should not have killed Desmond, bro. No, that, that made was, me so mad, and that ruined it. I did like the obscure they, aspect they, of uh, after like it. Black Flag, bro. Nah, <coughs> nah but um, me too, can I be? So, right, so I'm talking about a there, I don't know why the fuck we got on that. Oh, because I was talking about live actions. So, just what I wanted to ask you was: Does it seem to you like Hunter still is not fully on board with Crosshair? Because it really doesn't seem like everyone else seems to have welcomed him back into the fold, but like it, it doesn't seem like Hunter's really comfortable with like you know Crosshair being there. Like he's reminds jealous. me of like reminds me of he's kind of jealous. Jealous? You you think that he's jealous? I don't know. Omega's like mad close with Crosshair right now. He's being like a protective yeah. dad, like. Whose kid hangs yeah, out? True. With, he's being like a protective dad whose kid hangs out with the coach more often than he does his own dad. Yeah, that's yes. how it's happening to me. He's just being a twat to be a twat. I still but think that, that bro, you need all the help you can get. Oh no, it's only episode five, Kenobi. We get sixteen of these beauties. Yeah, yeah. At least we got three in the first week, so. I don't think he should be. Yes, oh, no, yeah, him, I agree with that. He has to trust him yet. Yeah, no, I agree with that 100%. I'm not saying he should trust him. Obviously, Wrecker would trust him. Well, yeah, but he's Wrecker's like not very bright. Yeah, he's like a big kid. I'm just, I think the most egregious thing is that they brought us back to Pabu in this episode and we Fat Maze. I'm very upset about that. I'm very, very. You're still on the Fat Mace Windu thing? Like, I'm always going to be on the Fat Mace thing. Fat Mace is the goat, bro. He just, bro, Fat Mace brought Crosshair some some 
food that morning. We didn't even get to see Fat Maze. Come on. I'm telling you that that's Mace Windu. I'm telling you that that's Mace Windu. Mace Windu. It's not Mace Windu. I'm like, telling you it's Mace Windu, bro. I'm telling not, you. I'm telling it's you. not, but it looks so, like, the animation style of him. Like, they didn't even give him hair. Like, it just looks like him. He's like, he's like, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah Fox Kenobi. You're going to, you're going to be waiting until, like, June, buddy. Yeah, bro. The final episode doesn't come out until, like, the end of May. Or something. I think it's like the end of May or beginning of June. Yeah, exactly. They mentioned tech. They're like, they're like, what about they're like, remember last time what happened at tech? And then everyone just goes. No, well, anyway. <laughs> he's gonna so, be like, so when do you think tech will get revealed? Soon or like at the end of the season? Uh, no, it's going to be when they determine all the data on that data pad, they're going to see that he's still alive on Tantus. Mm. That's what I think. And That's, then... I think, you... they're gonna, I think they're going to, like, see all the prisoner, like, CT numbers. And they're going to see, like... What the fuck do they call them? They don't call them CTs, I don't think. Bad badge. It's like something nine nine whatever 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 number. Slow force nine nine. Yeah, yes. CF. Yeah, it's like CF nine nine something something as their numbers. Yeah. Zero five or like zero three or something something like that. Something, they're literally yeah, fucking no. Me. Like, come on. Yeah. Hey. No, nah, but like. In all seriousness, though, I think that um. I think that they're all going to die except for like Omega because they want to make her one of like the main characters. I don't know. I think Crosshair could live. You think so? Yeah. Or he's gonna. I think he's gonna sacrifice. Or he's gonna die to save Hunter. I don't really give a shit about Hunter to be honest with you. There's nothing there for me. What? <laughs> Who has to save Hunter? I don't hate him. I just don't care. I'm not intrigued by his character. Like, I just don't care. He's just the leader. That's literally what he That's is. That's his whole he... character arc. I'm literally just the guy in charge. And I have a knife and I look like Rambo. Oh, and I can sense electromagnetic pulses. Yeah, I'm a good tracker. He's like Aragorn and Rambo. What's up, Crimson? What's up, Crimson? I just don't find him, like, very... In compelling like if you gave me a whole show i have a house, wrecker shirt wrecker's my favorite character on that show so wrecker's yeah. more interesting and they know that like wrecker yeah nobody's favorite character i don't think anybody's favorite of the bad batch is hunter like the leader is the most like the least interesting one rolling stone shade yeah, i'm not even though because like ask anybody Everybody likes Tech and Crosshair and Echo. Obviously, Echo's the shit. Like, he's the yes. homie. He's yes. like OG yep. fucking badass fucking 5 0 first until we fucking die. For me, it was always Fives, Heavy, Echo, and then now it's uh, Wreckers like four. What, Roxanne on that list? Oh, well, yeah, Rex is there too. Hunter Biden. Imagine. He's the leader of the fucking Bad Batch. He's just like, guys, I'm telling you, we gotta get some spice. We gotta you get guys some want spice. Crack? I have to yeah, remember my shit. Spice from the spike syndicate. My father's the my father's the uh, Omega. Uh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Omega up. walks in. Omega's like, we got all this spice from the Pike Syndicate. Wait. What happened to all the spice? Hunter! And he turns around, he's like, Nothing? Hunter, now the Pike Syndicate's gonna be coming after us. They're gonna get Betcha. Hunter, you weren't supposed to snort that Hunter, spice. That you was sold the food tablet. Hunter, you <laughs> sold that food tablet. What was on there, Hunter? You sold it to the Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, why did you 
call your father? Why is he on his way here? Hello. <laughs> What's up, Caleb? How you doing, buddy? Caleb, I, Caleb, I am so I'm sorry. Why didn't it spread in the background? <laughs> <laughs> the empire can uh, be described in a single word. As a foot as a foot of foot. Let me let me sniff you. Oops. Come here, old nigga. I want to see what your hair smells like. <laughs> what the? Oh my god! Did you leave the spice out again. If you leave the spice out again. Hunter, do not let me find a data tablet where it shouldn't be. Right, I'm gonna send I am I am going to send Kamala Harris after you. <laughs> Sleepy Pouts. Look. Sleepy okay, Pouts. Sleepy Pouts. Yes. That's amazing. Someone okay. make that. Can someone make a meme of Hunter Biden as one of the Bad Batch members as Hunter, please? That would be a much more interesting show. I'm not even gonna lie. I would actually watch that too. Bro. I would, yeah. I like, would be hilarious. No, 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 bro. Yeah. Bro, 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 bro. Wrecker is like you know Dick Cheney. Uh that wouldn't work. I um, mean. I was thinking of a fat man. Crosshair would be Donald Trump. Man. Crosshair would be Donald Trump. That'd be fucking amazing. I see it, see it too. I see it. Yeah, like, yeah. Listen, Hunter, you're just mad because I sent out the signal and you let the signal go to the Russians. All right, you fucking fool. You it tiny was not little my candy fault. man. It was not my fault. It you tiny little candy fault. man. I sent it out and then I had to do time in prison because you're dumbass. Couldn't save the girl. You fuck. It's your fault, hunty. That's why you're mad. It's not mine. I did it all. I got her out of Tantus. I got her betcha. Nah, bro. Tech is Bill Clinton. Tech is Bill Clinton. No, Tech is Obama. He's just bo bomb striking everybody. I was just going to say that. Tech is Obama. I was just going to say that, too. He's like, Hunter. Tech Hunter, listen, I really think that okay. we should, our way here might just be to bomb the tower. It might just be quicker and faster. We'll send our boys in, our boys in black. Yeah, we'll send them in right after. They'll get the intel. And then Hunter turns around. He's like, Hunter turns around. He's like, good idea, Obama. Harambe 24, bro. Harambe 24. Oh, sorry, oh my god. Listen, you idiot. My no, but is bad. Your, eye, before, your, your aim is just not good with your eyes. Before I'm we get back onto the Bad Batch. I thought we were on the whole time. <laughs> well, okay, no, but like, I'm gonna watch who this in the show of the, show the Bad Batch as the president? Someone make that. Dude, we knew that with AI. That'd be so funny. That'd, That'd be, be so funny. Great. You know what? You know what? I have. We might, we might have to do that. We might have to do that. I have 11 labs. I might just do that. I might just do that. Well, I have one That'd German Shepherd so Husky mix. I don't have that many dogs. No, it's like a website. I'm kidding. Just being an idiot. Um, But, dude... Obama as tech would be perfect. That 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 actually fits. But who's Echo? Who would Echo be? Hmm. All right. So Wrecker's George Bush. Yeah. Trump is crosshair. Tech Hunter is Elon Musk Biden. for no reason. Tech is just Elon Musk for no reason. Tech is Elon Musk. Yeah, for no reason. You um. Did you see that? Did you see that? Like, uh, did you see that Instagram and Facebook got like you know a cyber attack or something on them? Yeah, I got cyber attack a couple days ago. 
motherfucker. We all did. And I couldn't use my phone. Like, T-Mobile, I couldn't use my phone outside of Wi-Fi yesterday. Really? Like, on and off. Like, I had to, like, it was weird. It was like, I walked out of work. My phone had no bars. It just said E. I couldn't do nothing. I turned my phone on and off. It worked. I like, think. It, the weirdest, been, thing was, I, weirdest thing was, it was after I made a call. But, no, I've been hearing this from other people. Like, um, I was watching G&G the other day. We got hit by like a cyber attack or something, bro. I was, yeah, we definitely did. It's a very strange cyber attack because it didn't shut it down worldwide on certain things. Yeah. YouTube wasn't shut down worldwide, but Instagram and Facebook were. Yo, that's Mitch McConnell. Yes. Who's Obi Wan? Who's Obi Wan? I'm on T Mobile and it. And it worked fine. Yeah, see, that's the that's the weird thing because I've seen a lot of people, like I said, like Fear the Beard Guy said he couldn't use his phone at all for like six hours outside of his house. And then for me, every time I turn my phone, like I had to keep turning it off and back on to get it back on the service when I was on break. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I went back into work, it worked fine because I was on Wi-Fi. But then even at home, I turned my Wi-Fi off and my phone didn't work. I had to do the same thing. That's, so, that's weird. It, but but, but then weird. again, YouTube YouTube shut down for me like twice. Did it? In the really? middle of like, two different live streams, yeah. And um, I don't use Instagram at all. I didn't even think to check. But there was a lot of things. And then it was funny, too, because uh, the official X account on X tweeted out, we all know, we all know why you're all here right now. Because everything else was shut down except for X. Well, so, like, the thing was, it logged me out of my Facebook. And I was thinking to myself, did I get zucked? Or, you know, did I get hacked? And then it locked me out of my Instagram. And I was like, oh, no. Something definitely happened. And I, and I literally, like, logged into my Twitter. And, like, on the, you know, right side, where they have the, like, hashtags... It said, um, it, it said like hashtag Facebook down, and I was like, oh, okay. You know what's uh, and Crenshaw as Jar Jar? Oh my god, that would be interesting. No, Jar Jar has to be like, all right, I guess... Adam Kinzinger is uh, Jar Jar. <laughs> you know who could be, um, Grandma Tarkin? Grandma Tarkin would be um, Gavin Newsom. Ooh, I Gavin see that. Newsom. Gavin Newsom would be Tarkin because he's just a dictator in his state. <laughs> Fucking nut job, mm. and he has nice hair. Gavin Newsom does have nice hair. Who's Count? I wish I could my hair. Who's Count Dooku? Who's like, the guy that's like everybody thinks is evil, but he's probably right. Oh, I got a perfect one for that one, but you know, y'all gonna hate me for it. Count Dooku is Bernie Sanders, y'all. What about Robert? Boo -boo. What about Robert Kennedy? Dooku is Pence? No, stop it. Nah, no, Pence is not Pence. Pence is like actually Pence, Pence is new gun right. Pen Pence, Pence is like new gun. Yeah, Pence is like fucking no, 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 no. Pence could be Tarkin. Gavin Newsom could be new gun right. Newsom Gunray. Alex Jones is a count uh, Dooku. <laughs> Alex Jones is Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> okay, the who's the most version. annoying? Guy? He's like, wait a second. This is the clones. Return the clones, evil. Okay, I know who we're making Rose. If we ever were to use anything from like the sequels, Ben Shapiro is going to be Rose. No, Ben Shapiro would be somebody more prominent. I'm trying to think of ben a person that's Ben down. Shapiro would be C-3PO. The odds of you actually making it through this uh, asteroid field are actually, uh, statistically, by uh, looking it through here, is actually, and then Han Solo would just shoot him. That is an insult to AOC, but you're actually right, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, she definitely very true. Padme. Trump's lawyer can be Padme. 
Yo, Dude. what's up, Nico? What's going on, bro? Yeah, Trump's lawyer. Can Trump's be lawyer can be Padme. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool with that. No, she can be a lawyer just to put her in the slave game. Pause. Dude. 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 We're all thinking it. Hmm. Who be Han Solo? This is fun to think about. Uh, Who would be Han Solo from our government? Who just doesn't give a fuck? Yeah. It's, that might actually be Robert Kennedy. Honestly, yeah. Make uh make Robert Kennedy Han Solo. Yeah, and then um. Joe Rogan as a uh, Han Solo. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rick Wamaswamy can be Lando. No. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, he's a cool guy. Outside, of, like, like in general, he's a nerd. He's a fucking swab dude. Who has, who has a grating and annoying voice that can be uh, grievous? Let's see. Um, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy- it's fucking... We thought the same thing. We thought the same thing. <laughs> we both made it so grievous. That's amazing. Oh my god, who has an annoying and grating voice? We both just got a Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I have a new husband to add to my collection. <laughs> oh man, uh, Nancy Pelosi as General Grievous. Bro. This is a hard conversation, but it's enjoyable. This is fun, bro. This is fun. I'm still, I'm still just trying to think. That who, would who would be Count Dooku? Maybe like Mitt Romney. Uh, nah, John not... McCain. John McCain, yeah. Kamala Harris is Holdo. No, no. That's, that's, a given. that's a given right there. That's a given right there. What uh I must said something wrong. Matt Gates is Greedo. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's true. This is a, this is fun. I like this. Who would that's... Hillary Clinton be. Oh, size noodles. I had that shit on deck. I had that shit on deck. She's size noodles 100%. <laughs> My chest. She's like, she wants to get we want to get Pokemon. Pokemon, go, go, go to the polls. <laughs> Yeah, bro, she definitely and sucks. People cool. wondered why she lost. Because every time she opens her mouth, lost. she annoys the audience. That's the oh, man. Did you I'm trying to think of a. Like... Nikki Haley's Java the Hunt? Possible. Definitely a possible runner up there. There's quite a few others that could be Java. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Who would Bill Clinton be? I'm trying to think of a perverted. No, I already Star Wars said Bill Clinton. Thing. Bill Clinton's part of the Bad Batch. Who? Who is he in the Bad Batch? He's Echo. He comes back every now and then out of nowhere, and it becomes relevant. Bill Clinton's everybody, Echo, and everybody knows his name. Everybody knows his name. He comes back out of nowhere. He's relevant all of a sudden. Yeah, he's Echo. He's part of the Bad Batch of Presidents, but he's not, like, the one. Chris Christie! Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's perfect. 100%. That's perfect. Yeah, that's no, perfect. that's 100%. He's job of the hut. Uh, Nikki Haley can be um, the one chick who's, like, got 17 rolls on her stomach who dances around Jabba's palace. Uh, Richard Nixon is uh, Sid. Because he's a crook. No, nah, I think Richard Nixon could be, like, Mm. Mm. Hold on. Chancellor Valora. Who's Luke Skywalker? 
Maybe Chancellor Valorum. Okay. Chancellor Valorum would be because he's like the next step down from Palpatine's body. So this is Crumb. No. Oh, so he's just... hair. Did you guys watch Stargrift the other night on Monday where Ryan said he'd fuck Salacious Crow? What? <laughs> he said that? It was, it was Fuck, Mary Kill, Wado, Jabba, and Salacious Crumb, and Theory didn't want to answer it. And Ryan just goes, Fuck, Mary Kill. Yeah, Luke Skywalker's the people. But he would go, he, I think he just goes, well, obviously, fucking kill Wado. He's stupid. He ends up a bum on the street. And he goes, I guess I'd marry job and fuck Salacious Scrub. <laughs> like, what? And he goes, well, Salacious should be a one-time thing. Smash and pass. You know? Job of the Hut, like, when he dies, assuming, like, when he does, I get all his money, then, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's the funniest thing. And Ryan's like, well, you fuckers wouldn't answer the chat. That man sent his $5 super chat. Mm, no. Nancy uh, Pelosi's grievous. We already yeah, established no, she, that. Yeah, she's she's grievous because of her voice. She likes to collect things, and it's not lightsabers; it's men. She's like the richest politician in all of like Congress, so she definitely likes to collect money for sure. Her husband; she just has an army of her husbands. They're all gay. No way. Okay, Roland. They all Michelle. have hammers in their hands. Michelle Obama. I'm trying to think. Mace Windu. Salicious looks like a gross fleshlight anyway. <laughs> the other joke that he made, he was like, could you imagine like trying to perform? And he just goes, <laughs> You'd be like, <laughs> nah. Uh, she has to be somebody. She's like Kiati Mundi. She's like, come on, guys. Everybody, just eat healthy. Do the right thing. They're like, shut the fuck up, Kiati. You don't help. Eat healthy. Hey, you know, listen though. The right thing, guys. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? Shut the fuck up, Kiati Mundi. Yoda's got it handled. God damn it. Mitch McConnell's got it handled. No, but Mitch McConnell is good friends with the Wookiees. Don't worry. No, but he brought up the droid attack on the Wookiees. So, like, why didn't they send him? Because I don't even know who the fuck that is. She's the White House press uh, set secretary. Oh, secretary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, Jean Pierre. Hold on a second. Let me show it to you. Is it the fat one? No. Oh. Well, I'm less disappointed. I'm just honestly, honest. honestly, I kind of see it. Oh, no. She annoys me. Yeah. So just she looks like the woman that would tell you that you fucked up when they fucked up your shit at the DMV. Like you're at the DMV, you've been waiting in line for fucking three hours. You get up there, and she's like, mm, "Yeah, mm, uh, sorry, um, yeah, you didn't like take the right number." Oh, ah. Uh, ben Carson is Finn. <laughs> no, they don't have to be like Ben Carson. Would be like Masa Mato. He just likes to like raise his arms up and talk. Al Gore's boss, Nass. <laughs> Yeah, I can see it. No, that'd be Nixon. That'd be Nixon. Nixon is boss oh, man. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. yeah, this is going on for a while. This is like a thirty-minute conversation about what what U.S. government officials are Star Wars characters. Y'all are gonna hate me for saying this. Elizabeth Warren's Mon Mothma. I'm I sorry for that. Just like because of the hair, like, oh, who's hot? Who can be Padme? Other than Trump's lawyer, Lauren Bobert. Thanks. I mean, you don't have to like her political views, but she's hot. AOC is pretty hot. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, she's Alex Stein's favorite big booty Latino. 
she directly knows who he is. It's hilarious. Yeah, 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 it's weird. I think it's funny as fuck. <laughs> I think it's funny as fuck. He gives no yeah, shit. Mid- I, 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 listen to me, man. Crimson. I mean, no, 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 AOC no. comes to your house. Are you really turning her down? Stop it. Stop if it. she's not AOC and she's not like... She's not like, tax me more, fatty. Like, then I'm good. Like, Nah. William Taft is a Dexter Jester. <laughs> William Taft? We're going way back. <laughs> Who would Abraham Lincoln be? <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. Yariel Poof, the tall-ass motherfucker. Or he'd be like the he'd be like the Kevin Owens or something. He was huge. He was like seven foot tall. He was like seven foot four. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about that, but I know he was like reaching wait a second. Six foot. How tall was okay, his, How tall was Abraham Lincoln shins? How tall was Abraham Lincoln? He was six four. And that's it. Hey, it's as tall as Mahler. There's no way that he was six four. There's no way. I only know that because Mahler said it the other day. That's a tall motherfucker. Lincoln yeah. was, dude, Lincoln was not six foot four, bro. What? I'm, and that for back then is tall as hell. True. Like for back then, people, the average height of men during the Civil War was five seven. The average height in the United States was five seven. Lincoln is the prime minister yes. of uh Camino. Yeah, fucking uh, what's his name? Lama Sue. What was that? Uh, what what was that Fox Business article that you wanted to uh, talk about? Oh, it was actually like two important business things I wanted to talk about before we before we get into this one. Uh, the first one that I had, we'll go into the second. Three videos. It's Ben Shapiro, and we didn't think of one for R two D two. Yeah, Tribia is Ben Shapiro. I actually am going to make, uh, you know, Bad Batch President's AI be fun. Bro, you definitely should. I'm actually going to do that. It'd be fucking yeah. hilarious. Yeah. I'm as actually going to do that. Hunter, yeah. As long as Hunter is Hunter Biden and he's just obsessed with Spice. Like, that's, like, all that, all that needs to happen. That's the, that was the first, that's the joke that started this entire thing. This entire last 40 minutes of conversation was started by a single joke about Hunter being Hunter Biden because of, I think it was what, who was it, Pilgrim or Crimson in chat? I think it was Crimson. Or- somebody, somebody in chat said Hunter Biden question mark. That was actually Pilgrim. R2 is a uh, marginal yeah. name for no other reason than both the crazy uh, at the time. It was yeah no it was crimson he said Hunter Biden question mark and that started this entire thing, yeah. which is funny because actually I think Trump's gonna pick her to be his uh vice president Marjorie Green, yeah yep yeah 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 actually I I do think that interesting interesting. All right, so um, let's pull up this goofball of a fucking article, and I just, I'll just let you. Um, I'm just gonna be quiet for a second and let you read. I'm gonna let you read out this uh, this title here. Boba Fett is Boba, Putin. Fett is, Boba Fett's Putin. I don't know about that. Yeah, nah. I kind of have to disagree with that one. Putin would be like Thrawn. He's playing like 4D chess. So, yeah. He would be thrown, I think. And Zelensky would be like some random little like planet that he just fucks up. <laughs> Seriously. All right. All right. Let me read this. Hillary Clinton's, um, uh, Hillary Clinton's size yes. noodles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Size noodles. Every time she opens your mouth, you want to like Thrawn is Hitler. I don't know about that. Thrawn's not evil. 
North Face offers discount for customers taking equity course that says black people can't enjoy the out can't enjoy the uh, outdoors. Course also teaches white people can't experience racism. What? How do you feel about that, Roman? Right off the bat. <laughs> Isn't it racist to be saying like Oh, by the way, we're mate, we're giving black people a disc or people a discount if you take a course that says black people can't be in the outdoors. Is that not fucking racist in its own That's right? That's racist as hell. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> people can't enjoy the outdoors. See you later, Kenobi. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Later. What does that mean? So let's scroll down here a little bit. What about the famous cookouts? The North Face company is is offering customers a discount. Oh wait, uh, fucking. The North Face company is offering customers a discount if they complete an equity course that teaches how white people never experience racism and how the outdoors is is oppressing against black people. <laughs> the outdoors are racist. The outdoors itself is racist. The North Face, whose parent company is VF Corporation, launched a racial equity course that states how white people never experience hardship due to the color of their skin, and that black people are barred from activities because of systemic racism and oppression. The course, which offers customers 20% off for learning about anti-racism for one hour, contained elements of critical race theory, according to Heritage Foundation DEI expert. Mike Gonzalez. It was the longest hour I have ever lived. <laughs> Gonzalez said, "What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, this is literally not a joke. This is literally not a joke, guys. The North Face Allyship Course claimed there was racial discrimination in the outdoors." The DEI expert added, expert, right, added that the course was an outrageous attempt at convincing people we live under an oppressive system of racial injustice, partially in the mountains. Yeah, the mountains, every time you go into the mountains, it just says no black people. Mountains are racist. It says no The mountains are racist. You see this right here? Right bold. White people can't experience racism. They put it in bold. Like I think anybody can experience a racism. By the definition of racism, anybody. yes, they can. And that statement yeah. right there, by the definition of racism, is, in the, is indeed racist. Uh, privilege can give us access to the outdoors. That means some people can enjoy advantages that they inherit from birth and or accumulate over time. For example, aspects of identity that can give privilege relate to race, religion, gender, wealth, sexual orientation, ability, or citizenship status. The course stated, in this particular context, we refer to white privilege, meaning that your race and skin color can give you access to the outdoors, when others can be excluded because of historic, enduring racism and biases. Gonzalez called this portion insulting and offensive, adding that some of the most powerful people in the country are from minority groups. True! Barack Obama was the most powerful man in the world. Kamala Harris is the vice president. She's African American, he said. Remy, you want to continue real quick? Mm, yeah. The North Face has always believed the outdoors should be a welcoming, equitable, and safe place for all. This course aims to bring light to the barriers to entry, preventing all people from sharing equally rewarding experiences in the outdoors. A, sp a spokesperson for VF Corp told Fox News Digital, when asked about the portion uh, on white uh, privilege, a spokesperson said there was no further comment. <laughs> so, so, I just want to highlight something real quick. Um, hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. no, dude, dude, don't do that. Wait, wait, wait. Outdoors should be a welcoming, equitable, Green. and safe place for all. The outdoors is dangerous. Why do you think I carry a Bowie knife and bear spray when I hike out there in the middle of the fucking the wind mountains of California? It's dangerous. The wind, place the wind is racist. A safe the wind place. is racist. Yeah, there's like a black guy walking in the woods and the, the wind passes by and bristles the trees and it just goes N-word, N-word, N-word. Like, come on. Like, it's like, the, the, like what? I, 
actually another thing Ryan Kennel brought up. He was like, I want to see somebody make a video of this where like a black guy's hiking in the woods and the trees are just all going, get out of here, black man. The woods are no place for you. Like, <laughs> fucking stupid. Dude, Outdoors should be welcoming. Look. Okay, I'll be honest with you. Hiking on a simple trail is welcoming. Hiking in the back countries of California or the mountains of Montana, it's not welcoming. We are not welcome there. We go Christ. in there. You have to go in there packed to the teeth with all the shit that you need to survive. Equitable and safe. The Equitable, fuck you. And safe, fuck you. I could be walking down the street in my fucking park. I could be walking down my own street. I'm out there in nature, and guess what? A tree fucking falls on me. Every time I walk out my door, I expect that lightning could strike me. Or a tree is that tree racist? For a hike. Would that tree be racist? If it killed a black guy. I don't know. Actually, it would be because trees are a different race than humans, apparently. What? Um, okay, let's let's continue. According to the course, people of color are barred from sports because they lack white privilege. What are you talking about? It then included a series of privilege statements such as, I can be confident people in the outdoors will be respectful and kind to me. And I can be sure that when I'm in the outdoors, when I'm in, when I'm in the outdoors, there will be other people like me there. The aim Ooh, is to like create a more... We're all people out in the outdoors. There is other people like you there because they all enjoy the outdoors, you fuck. The aim is to create a more equitable outdoors for everyone. Every person has a basic right to human dignity, respect, and equal access to resource. But not everyone is starting from the same place. It Equity acknowledges that everyone comes from different circumstances and allocates resources and opportunities uh, accordingly so that everyone can reach an end equal outcome. It should be an equal outcome. The North Face course stated. Okay. <laughs> this is a fucking joke. Oh my god. Oh, this no, goes on mean? and on and on. It's fucking oh Jesus Christ. Why did Fox you... even uh, cover this? I'm shocked. <laughs> because it's ridiculous, and it proves the fact that whenever we say clown world, it has some credence to it. This is not parody. One board... This is not satire. This is fucking real. And I'll be honest with you. I have This is some real, friends. but it's retarded. I have some friends, and I think any person with a working brain realizes this is retarded. Now, I have friends in New York, right? They grew up in the middle of the fucking city. First time they had a bonfire was my friend's 21st birthday at my house when he came down here. But guess what? There's nowhere to have a fucking bonfire in New York City. And to be fair, it's not easy to live. It's expensive as fuck in New York City. So going on a simple vacation is a lot of money for you. So it's yeah. not and, – and statistically speaking, yes, there is a lot of different – races that live in cities and it might be different demographics depending on what town you're in but it's equally it's not that it's not accessible it's that it's almost not viable for them to go i think yeah, i'm gonna buy all of this camping equipment i'm gonna buy all this hiking equipment i'm gonna buy a plane ticket or i'm gonna get in my car and drive out three days to somewhere like that's money that they can it's be working. Like, it, it's difficult to live in a city, is my point. It has I think also it. though, and, and when I'm hiking out west, when I'm hiking out west or or here yes. or anywhere, I see people of all races, dude. All races, all genders, all walks of life. You have people that have saved up for like years to just come on this one hiking trip, you know, shit like that, and they do yeah. it. Yeah, in full on black families. Full on Spanish families. I've seen 40 fucking Asians all taking pictures of the same thing at the same time. Like it, and they're all hiking. Everybody, they're all doing it. And and then again, as a Boy Scout who did 12 years of scouting, there is a lot of troops that are strictly black troops because they're from certain demographics or inner city areas that are mostly there's like one white kid in the whole troop. Or like like one Mexican kid and everybody else is a black dude. But guess what? They're still out there. They're in Maryland. They're hiking. They're camping. They're they're doing these fucking trips. They're going boat sailing. They're doing all this stuff. Welcome to Sapphire Lounge by the oh, club. The fuck is up?
craft cock. But still, it's it's a lie. Like this is bullshit. It it's not. Yes, is it more difficult for people in the cities to go out and go hiking? Yeah, but that's not. It's everybody who lives there. So it's not just one. I have um. Rest. So believe me, I have family that lives in the city, and I know it's difficult for them to go on trips. If they didn't have the jobs so they had to be able to go on. I trips. have so, um. So I kind of have two two like prongs of like you know views on this issue. So. Fox mentioned in here critical race theory. Now, here's like my thing, right? I don't theory. have an issue. I, I don't have an issue with kids being taught about slavery or, you know, civil rights. But like this stuff is stupid. Critical is race like, theory is bad. It, 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 it's only making racism worse. Whereas like being taught about slavery, we realized back in the day, like, don't get me wrong, bro. When we were even in fifth grade. My black friend right next to me was making fucking jokes. My friend Marcus. He's making jokes about slavery the whole fucking time. And him and I were cracking each other up, making like quick little jabs at each other and shit. In fifth grade, because you know, you're kids, you make jokes about fucked up shit. It happens. And you're especially when you're like two young, young boys. And you're, you know, going home playing Call of Duty and getting called the N-word all the time. So yeah. it's the same fucking thing. But we actually got the impact of like yeah that shit's not fucking cool like making a joke is completely like with your friend is completely different than going like oh yeah but people can't walk outside yeah yeah well, yeah. well yeah. not even that it's just like we understood even though we were making a joke we understood the gravity of that situation at the time like, we still understood, like, that shit was fucked up and it should never come back and it should be completely fucking gone from human history, for, like, eventually gone forever. And Well, like, the thing is, though, Roland, there are people, there are people that... I mean, there's going to be slaves not... again at some point. I hate to say that, but at some point in human history, there will be slavery again. They'll happen there again are... and again and again and again and again. There... It's happening forever. There are people, there are people who do want Mark, who want Martin Luther King taken out of the uh, curriculum being taught. And, like, that, yes, to me, is crucial to the history of our country, is him being taught. Um, So, what I'm saying is that this stuff that we just, like, went over is dumb. But for people that want to take slavery out, and for people that want to take out teaching like Martin Luther King, even even though he wasn't perfect, teach kids about Malcolm X. Teach kids about Rosa Parks. But you do teach us about Rosa Black Parks. Kids. Malcolm X isn't just controversial. He's a fucking nut job, dude. Like I don't, I don't. Malcolm hold X it. changed his ways towards the end of his life, though. But that's not he, what he's remembered for, Roman. Right? What'd you say? That's not what he's remembered for. Like, Darth Vader changed his ways by the end of his life, too, and everybody remembers all the atrocities he did. So, the whole galaxy... Still... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wasn't saying it doesn't. That's my point, though. It's always going to fucking exist. So teach people about... never be the diversity, equity, and, and inclusion of the racist community. I actually agree with what Crimson... or um. Uh, what Gray Pilgrim said there. That's just history. End of discussion. Don't rename it something stupid. Fucking exactly. The people want to, but like, what I'm saying is though, people do want to erase it though. I know. That that's why so that's why I have a problem when even if it's quote unquote a racist statue, you remove it because you're removing history, which therefore people will forget it happened. You need people to remember it happened. That statue is there so that you remember what the fuck happened. I don't give a fuck if that's considered a racist statue because by removing that, you're removing it from history and therefore people forget it happened. And we need to remember all the horrible things that happened in the past so that we don't fucking repeat them. And most disgusting of all is the prevalence of uh, sex slavery. Yeah, true. Yes, true. yes absolutely. fucking lutely absolutely. A hundred... You almost hear every thousand percent. You almost hear every single year about 
oh, some kids were found that have been living in the bottom of this fucking old dude's basement for like six years, seven years, eight years. I don't even know their family. They were presumed missing. You, you hear that shit all the time now. It's fucking terrifying. Like if I was a parent in this day and age, man, I would be, I wouldn't be like a helicopter parent, but I'd watch my kid like a hawk. I kind of like, I know that I've said this, but I kind of don't want to raise, raise kids in this world, Roland. I, I kind of don't. I do I because don't. I feel like it's my duty to raise some good human beings that are actually going to like benefit this world and not just be fucktards. Hobson was right in the, uh, you know, ill mind of Hobson Five, bro. Yeah, he was right. Uh, Hobson, Hobson was right like in both. Hobson threw yes. shit with me too, like. So. Yeah, yeah, man. You shade it all, but no, but I think that this is uh I think that this this is this is like dumb. This is what I call the social justice warrior type of like thing. I think that this is uh dumb. But there are also people that want like slavery taken out of being taught to like, you know, uh school kids, and I don't think that that's good either. So I think I'm kind of in the middle on this issue i think um i think that this is dumb but like kids should learn about slavery and kids should learn about like martin luther king and like the civil rights movement. yeah kids should learn about world war ii too there's some schools that don't want to teach world war ii curriculum anymore because it's yeah bro violent and too triggering (laughs) did you see that they're trying to get the holocaust to like you know not be taught do you see that they're 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 trying to have it that like uh the Holocaust will, would like not be taught. That's all anymore. Yeah, yeah. But yes. like we we I'm used so to know glad. that stuff. I'm so glad I'm not in public school anymore, dude. Kids need to know that I think, stuff. I can stop Kids sharing. Know that. I think I think we've got well wait, wait, I think we want to read this one part real quick. This is the last thing. What? Uh, this last part, one portion Gonzalez found particularly offensive and dehumanizing was when it suggested that a person of privilege shouldn't judge minority groups by the same standards by which they judge themselves. That's the dehumanizing proposition. We have ethics in virtue, in talent, in intelligence, in hard work, in gumption, and resilience. And these are things by which we admire people who possess these qualities, no matter what their race is, he said. The course constructed attendees that being an ally meant combating racism on the systematic and personal level. Let's see, is there more? Oh, there is. As for personal level, the North Face asked customers to check in with your privilege and continue to learn through others the impact that racism can have in society and how that manifests itself in the outdoors. Are you fucking joking? This is not satire, people. So I know one company I won't be buying clothes from right now. Are we sure this is actually real? Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's on multiple websites right now. It's on uh, right now. I'm on Fox. It's also on World News. It's also yeah, it's everywhere. It's also on North Face's official website. It's on their official website. The North Face then asked customers to consider the systemic changes they should take part in, such as challenging existing policies that exclude people of color from the outdoors. Wait a second. What, what policy? What policy, policy excludes people of color from the outdoors? Is there a law that I don't know about? When I go to environmental school and I've learned some environmental law stuff, is there a law that I wasn't taught that, that means... Black people and, and people of color aren't allowed outside? Because I've seen a lot of fucking Asians in Yellowstone. <laughs> what policy? What? Yes, what policy? Is this why someone is, why is who studies policies? Why is I study policies. Color? I've never I'm seen this. I've never seen this before. What policies? What policies? This is um, fucking clown world, dude. Like, if this doesn't, like, what the fuck? What? 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 Oh, there we go. That was weird. You saw that? Yeah. Get out of my way.
Did y'all hear about the PDF file Doritos hired as a brand ambassador? What? Yes, I did. I did. I did. We'll talk about We can talk about that in a second. We can talk about that in a second. It's like uh, Dylan Mulvaney for Bud Light, but worse. Uh, Because they're a trans person and they're a PDF file on your computer. Uh, so the North Face then asked customers to consider the systemic change. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, allyship means playing an active role in making change happen for those who lack power and privilege. Those action figures are sick. Those members, I'm sorry. Yeah, they are. They're probably fucking. Oh, they're sideshow. Never mind. Uh, underrepresented minority group. The course said the most important thing to remember is that allyship is a verb, not a noun. Allyship is active. Not passive, which means you need to practice it. Which means you need to go fuck yourself for telling me what I have to do. The course adds, in our everyday lives, we need to consistently challenge and ask ourselves, will this contribute to making people of color feel welcomed and accepted in the outdoors? How can we show up for others who lack the power and privileges we hold? What are some... This is not real. This is not real. Effectively increase ethnic diversity in the outdoors. In order to get the 20% discount attendees need to agree to engage with allyship and activism. That's not real. That's not real. real, That's not real. This is not real. Yes. That's not real. That's not real. I wonder why I fucking call out why we call out Disney for their shit. People are like, I don't see it. Well, look, they're telling you right here. This is what these major corporations are doing. They're telling you right to your face. What? This is our what? agenda. What? This is our what? agenda. Disney what? has the same you... agenda. But no, but listen, do you want to know the funny thing though? North Face does not give a crap about black people. They're... No! No, they're trying to get their sweet black rock money. That's what it is. Because if you you can get money for hitting an ESG score, environmental social governance score. And through is that DEI, what that is? Yes, and through DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion standards, you could do that, and then they give your company a fuck ton of money. BlackRock. And other corporations like it. If and North Face was, like, said, making Black the Rock's, argument... BlackRock CEO... If North Face was making... Last, hold on, hold on. Straight up last year, BlackRock CEO actually said, we need to influence all of these people into our agenda. Straight up. I mean, that's me saying it in layman's terms, but that's what he said. Like, we're not, we're forcing it. Like, we're not, we're not, like, throwing it out there. We're forcing it on people. Our agenda. That's what he fucking said and was, like, got claps for it. It was like when Palpatine's, like, first galactic empire, and everyone's like, Yeah! He was like, we're going to force our agenda on everything that people love. And everyone's like, yeah! I was like, yeah, no, fuck you. We're not going to stand for it. And Rings of Power was the first win that we had. And it might be our second. I think Madden Web was pro- kind of a win, but everybody seemed to hate that movie. Marvel's was a little bit of a win. All of uh, Marvel's TV shows in the past year have been a win. That's oh, literally oh. the point that i'm making is that like disney doesn't care north face doesn't care they don't care about these people it's all just money for them that's all it is that's all yeah. it is yeah and when it comes to talking about black rock and such um i um yeah that's true crimson anime localizer are taking l's too Anime localizers, what are they? Uh, the people that, that? Trans- they translate the Japanese to English. They, they've been changing shit to make it more inclusive. I mean... It's been a big, big story in the anime community recently. Inclusive like what, though? Oh, like, what are they saying? They'll say, like, they'll... Uh, Crimson. Dragon Maid. What was the exact quote? Can you get that for me? Because the reason that I asked that is there's different types of, like, you know, inclusivity. So I just want to know, like... No, like, instead of making a girl super, like, 
saying something kind of sexy or something kind of hot, they'll say something like the patriarchy, fucking whatever, like shit like that. Like they I wouldn't call that inclusive. That's no, no, just no, dumb. No, no, no. They're That's completely, just dumb. They're completely changing sentences, which then completely changes the character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, but I wouldn't say that that's inclusivity. I would say that like that's just dumb. Like it's not. That's because... I was a couple weeks ago on this show. I think. Well, like, and like, I'm not disagreeing with like your sentiment, but I'm just disagreeing with like how you like worded that because inclusivity means like let's bring in a black person or let's bring in like a no, gay person. But, but, Yes, so that's what it was. Um, the original quote in the show was something around the lines of, oh, you look completely different today. Why are you dressed like that? And she just goes, oh, you know, I felt like I would change it up. And the next episode, she's completely, like, you know, back to normal or whatever. And everybody's, like, weirded out about the fact that she's dressed different. Like, usually she's just, like, pretty hot, shit, whatever. And in the American, she goes, oh, you know, pesky patriarchal beauty standards were getting annoying. We're sure that that's not just a parody, or like, no, no, it's, uh, no, it's, it's like making it into the book. And asked because the the localizer got all a ton of shit for it, and then she like deleted her Twitter or something. What? That's what? Yeah, no, it's dead ass. Yeah, and I agree. Pilgrim, all of it's dumb. Like inclusivity is dumb too, because Lord of the Rings is just as inclusive for black people as it is for white people, and there's no black characters in Lord of the Rings. That's fine. That's fine because guess what? <laughs> I have a lot of black friends that fucking love it. They feel just as included and just as close to Aragorn or Aowen as they do anybody I'm, else. Dude, I, I watched, were... bro, bro, I literally watched fucking like um Boondocks. There's like one fucking white guy in there. He's like basically Eminem. Like I watch NWA the movie. I fucking feel included. Like well, I don't feel fucking like weird because I'm not a ton of white guys in it, like, who cares? You can watch, like, I watch, like, a ton of shit that's, like, all this, th I watch entire shows in Korean that are, like, Korean, like, Train to Busan, or, like, fucking Squid Game, and, and I don't need to feel included because there's not a white guy in it. Like, you know, our, our, one of our best black friends, Brock, fucking likes Squid Game. And there's not a black dude in Squid Game. Like he didn't, true, he didn't true. Feel included. In fact, his favorite character, I believe, was the Asian girl. The Korean girl. True. Yeah. So, like, you don't fucking need that, bro. Don't worry about it, Crimson. It's all right. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it like and like. It's not even that. It's like, well, Retroality yeah, okay. Well, that's that's like part of it too. But like, I think I brought it up the before. Thing is, I bring it up again. I have gay friends, and I have a gay black uncle who, or, or not gay black, I have two gay uncles, and they don't fucking give a shit about the whole thing. Oh, and John Graber, speaking of gay men, what's up, buddy? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> These men make me what? Um, no, but like to this point, so I think that we all oh, have yeah. a lot yeah, more yeah. in common than people would think. One and two, sub Boston. Um, uh, I think, um, I think that if we all focused on trying to have economic justice for all people like color gender race ethnicity it's that shouldn't matter because we're all one people that that's just the way that i see it like i think when you separate people no no matter what side of the aisle that like you're on like when you separate people by color or gender i think it I think that it kind of takes away from like your goal, like what the goal should be at the end of the day. That's just my personal view on it. But 
Rolo's silent, so I'm going to carry the load for right now. Pause. But uh, how y'all doing today? How is everybody? John, have you went live recently? I haven't seen you. I haven't seen the notifications pop up for your uh for your channel recently. Make sure to like and subscribe, y'all. We're at two hundred twenty-four subs now. Also, y'all can go follow me on Twitch, RG underscore Cakey, trying to get to fifty followers there. We're all on the road there, for sure, for sure. Y'all are awesome. I love you guys. We're not done yet. I just wanted to... Hey! That... Dude, that is a sick profile picture. That profile picture is awesome. Who's... Who's, uh... Whose profile picture do y'all like more? Mine? Or Rolos. Be a hundred percent honest now. I think Rolos is a lot better looking than than mine is, to be honest, but ours fit what we need for our like aesthetic, you know. Yours. <laughs> It's not a Z, Austin. Stop it. It's not a Z. It's a lightning bolt. It's not a Z. That's that's not a Z, bro. That's not a Z. That's not a Z. That's that's not a Z. All right. Well, tell that to uh, Damio then. Tell that to Damio then, because Damio was the one that made it, so. It's a lightning bolt. It's a lightning bolt. It's not a Z. It's a lightning bolt. It's a lightning bolt. It's not a Z. Y'all are getting on my nerves today. Sorry, gents. I got a phone call. Don't worry yep. about it, man. Don't worry about it. Dude, this does not look like a Z. Rolling, rolling. What? Does, this, does that thing in the center of my uh, logo here, I put myself into the solo. I don't know. Yeah, no, it yeah. kind of does. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of does. Really? Really? Yeah, yeah no, nah, it kind of does. Now that you mm. say that, now that you say that, now that ball says that, yeah, now it kind of does. See, like, I like you think that. so? I like mine. Look at that. You, dude. The dude. gaming channel one. Yours is sick. When I do the gaming one, I think it looks Thank fine. Thank you, right? No, no, no. I think it looks fine, but now that you say that, I do see the Z. Should I use um? See, I I think should this I one, use because the the one that I'm gonna use when I have a gaming channel set up, it it looks like an Xbox logo. It looks fucking sick. It looks like the OG 360 logo, or like the OG like like the swirl on the 360 when you turn it on. Looks cool. Oh, word. Should I use yes. uh? Okay, yes. hold on. I'm gonna put myself into the solo layout real fast because I want to show Last off. Time. The I'm gonna show off the other two. So here. That one's not even that one's not centered. Not not this one. Do y'all like this one? There's no Z in there's no Z in this one. And then there's also this one. <laughs> They're kind of still it that one I like a lot. But like this one's for my like main channel. I like that yes. one because it's got like and then this one's for my second channel. I got that one for my second channel. 
Uh, you should make one with, an, like, an American flag. Make that, like, your political one. Shoot. I should. What's, like, did uh, Damio use? Wait, let me... I actually let me, uh, let me change it. Let me change it back. Hold I don't on. even have my others. I don't have my others saved on this computer. I just saved this one on here. Well, well, Damio sent mine through... Um, He sent it through Discord to, to yeah, me, so... so. Same. I just only saved one to my phone through there. The I, saved them all. No, I saved them all to my phone, but I only saved one to the computer. Yeah, but Pilgrim, I'm you know, it's I'm a uh, I'm biased because like red's my, because red's because red's my favorite color. So yeah, yeah, we're red versus blue, bro. Yeah, true. Which, which works because blue team is my favorite team on the show. I love Blue's characters more, but Sarge is my overall favorite character, so I gotta go with the red team. About like Griff and Simon. Nah, bro. And sis. I love Donut too. Yeah, you would. I think that do- <laughs> he's <laughs> funny, bro. He's I'm funny. Kidding. Is he not funny? I'm kidding. Is Church is Church's best character. Yeah, I know, Crimson. I was about to bring that up. Wait, what? That was my what? segue. That was my segue, Crimson. Thank you. Fucking ruined it. Thank you. I'm kidding. I love you. No, you did though. Um, fuck. <laughs> yes, they have. They have Warner Brothers. Was, Warner 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 was Warner shut down. Yes, and actually, what? Stuttering. This is from the official Rooster Teeth website. Oh, you had that on lock. What the hell? All right, here, let me, let me, let me, let me pull this down. Dear Rooster Teeth community, over the years of Rooster Teeth, we aim to be direct in sharing, in sharing news as it happens. So with an extremely heavy heart, that this morning, during our company all-hands meeting, a very important announcement was made. We are grateful for our audience, our fans, and our community support during this challenging time. As has been shared in other places, and sent the press and our internal staff a copy of the memo sent from the general manager of Rooster Teeth, Jordan Levin, is shared with you all below. Please remember something as you begin to read the below message, and definitely before you comment, we all of us who work at Rooster Teeth are processing this in real time just like you. Please be mindful that this is on the Rooster Teeth website, a place where staff read, interact, and engage with each with each other and with you if you have questions begin to leave them here and thank you for your patience continued updates will be posted here on roosterteeth.com but you can also reach out and submit questions or feelings to our uh, support page or comments on this post we'll be hosting a live stream tomorrow march 7th on roosterteeth.com talking about this more what yep. dude they're shutting down Dear Rooster Teeth, since our founders creator created and uploaded their first video and called World Wide Web in 2003, Rooster Teeth has been a source of creativity, laughter, and lasting innovation in the wildly volatile media industry. We've read the headlines about industry-wide layoffs and closures, and you've heard me give my perspective and updates on the rapidly changing state of media and entertainment during each of our monthly all-hand meetings. Since inheriting ownership and control of Rooster Teeth from AT&T following its acquisition of Time Warner, Warner Bros. Discovery continued its investment in our company, content, and community. Now, however, it's with a heavy heart I announced that Rooster Teeth is shutting down due to challenges facing digital media resulting from fundamental shifts in consumer behavior and monetization across platforms, advertising, and patronage. Please note... The Roost team is not currently impacted by this action as the Roost Podcast Network will continue operating and fully or fulfilling its obligations while WBD evaluates outside interest in acquiring this growing asset. We have many questions to answer in the coming days and weeks and the opportunity to work together to implement the best way to wind things down for us and our community. We're working through what comes next in real time, and we will be as open, direct, and accessible as possible. Thank you all in advance for your patience and support for, of one another. Let's take a moment to celebrate our 21-year contribution to the zeitgeist, advancing creativity, and outlasting many of our peers from the early days yes. of online video and digital first content. And then the rest, is just, the rest is just talking about it. So I think it's a long time coming. And uh, I think that for two reasons. So, 
Yeah, I am interested in seeing what happens to Ruby Crimson. That's a good point. And Red versus Blue, but I don't care about Red versus Blue anymore because they fucked it. Um, they fucked it after season thirteen, basically. Which I just—that's to me—that's the real ending. Church. What happens to Church? That's the real ending. But anyway, it's been a long time coming. I mean, you lost Joel. Who voices Caboose and everything? You lost Joel Heyman. I think the real death of Rooster Teeth started with the death of Monty Ohm, which was um, really a hard hit for everybody there and for the community when he was administered the wrong medication for an asthma attack. And it was a medication he was allergic to when he died of an overdose, an anaphylactic shock. And it was shocking because he worked on all of the motion capture fights for Red vs. Blue. He was the lead animator. He did all of Ruby. That was his child. Yeah, they fired Vic. They did fire Vic Miana, which sucked. And, I mean, they, they went in. They, they fired him. They fired Joel because Joel's political views. Um... Bernie left. Achievement Hunter basically fell apart. Michael left with Lindsay. Barbara barely did anything. Gavin doesn't do jack shit with them anymore. It's like the uh, Barbara, yeah, like I said, like the whole crew, like the OG crew. I mean, after and when when side scrollers first left too, like Stutter and Craig and them, I knew shit was going down. Like when side scrollers disappeared, because side scrollers was the tits. And shout out to Craig, you just did a, a really great, not side scrollers, um, screw attack. Sorry, they're on side scrollers now. But yeah, when screw attack shut down, that was that was like the first thing I was like, oh. And then achievement hunter went private. I think, but I mean, we're like still a. So you think this has been a long time oh, no, coming? Great. Funhouse went private. When Funhouse went private, too, I was like, oof, because they were like the big one with them. So you knew shit was going oh. within the company, but they were all owned by uh, Full Vision or Full or Full Video or Full Vision, something like that, which was owned yeah. By so to Crimson's point, I'm kind of curious what's going to happen to Ruby now. Yeah, like yeah, like They're that's all actually Earl. Family. that that Red versus Blue and Genlock. Yeah. Will we be able to find red versus blue? Do you think? Uh yeah, you can find it on YouTube unless they take them all down. You'll always be able to find it, bro. I better be. I watched that I I watch seasons one through thirteen like every week. <laughs> bro, that ain't nothing like I would much rather the ending have just been the ending of 13. Agreed. WB has already licensed the IP to Japan. Oh my what? god, give Red versus Blue to the Japanese, please. Dude. Please, and Ruby. Give them both to the Japanese. Just please, just give them the fucking... Let them have it. Dude, I bet you 343 would be all happy letting the Japanese do a Halo show. They'd be like, yep, go for it. <laughs> like, why is uh why is why is uh why is Mike Tyson trending on Twitter? Is there something is that Ice, I need to know? Where's Ice Queendom? Who? Crimson's Oh. Is that a, like a Ruby fan made thing? Is that about Weiss? No I have no way. Is that show still worth nope. it? I have to catch up on that. I only made it like to where the dragon, like like after the dragon. Like, Hold so. on, guys. Pause for one second. Mike Tyson is fighting Jake Paul in a boxing match. <coughs> yeah, I saw that. I hope he just rocks him in one punch. Oh, Crimson, I'll have to check that out. Dude, what? How old is Mike Tyson? Let's 67. see. I think he's 67. 57, bro. 57. 
Who cleared him to fight? Who? Look at him. He's bro. old. Look bro. at him. Yo, he knocked out Eminem in that music video, though. Do you think that was a real punch? No, no, that was not a real punch. No, but have you seen the video of him and the interviewer? And the interviewer keeps, like, egging him on, and he literally gets up, and he's going to fucking beat the shit out of him, and, like, his two hammers yeah. come out, walk him out. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. I guarantee you one punch from that fucker would still break your skull. He's a monster of a human being. You think Jake Paul's going to fucking Mike, beat? Jake Paul's not beating Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson Mike, hasn't had a boxing match in like years, but how like how funny would it even fucking so, be like, if he rocked him one time? Dude, he just needs one punch. That's it. Ruby X Justice League is a thing. Yeah. Yeah, that is a thing. That sounds really stupid. Like a packet of cigarettes. From Actually, that's a perfect uh, segue into uh... God, into what? Anyway, rest in peace, Rooster Teeth. You should have been dead a long into time. Into what uh, Zack Snyder said about uh, Rooster Teeth should have been dead a long time ago. Before you get into that, can I go run downstairs and grab myself a can of dry real fast? Yeah, sure, sure. Give me two seconds. Ugh. All right. By two seconds, he means about ten minutes, but yes. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> but, uh, shout out to Pilgrim because he said earlier for us to look up what uh, Zack Snyder said about uh, Batman and about, you know, DC and me being a massive DC fan. I'm sure that this is going to piss me off, but, like, the fact is, though, like, the whole crazy part about this is, is that, um, us fans fought for the, for the, uh, Snyder Cut to get, like, put out. And then, like, no way he said that. Dude. Dude. Okay. Batman killed in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s, right? But then after... After the Adam West show came came out, they wanted to make him like more of a household name, so they stopped him from killing. Like Batman did have guns for like for like the first forty years of his uh, of his uh, comic run, but then he stopped killing, be because they changed his whole like moral code for it to be like, well, you know, he did he doesn't want what happened to his parents to happen to anyone else. So that's why he doesn't use guns because he says that criminals are superstitious and criminals are cowardly because they all, because they all use uh, guns. See here, here's the thing. Pilgrim, I have, I have a, re I have a respectful disagreement with you though. And I'll tell you why, because the Joss Whedon, Zach, or, the you know Joss Whedon cut of uh, Justice League was awful. It was just absolutely terrible. So personally, I just think that like the Snyder cut was just like a better version of Justice League. It wasn't perfect. It I wouldn't even say it was like like it was like okay, but it was better than what you know Joss Whedon did though. But I do get where you're coming from. Yeah. Dude, dude, listen, man. Okay, Joss Whedon's Justice League is possibly because I've seen some terrible movies, but like Joss Whedon's Justice League might be the worst movie I've ever seen. You've seen how I've seen some terrible. <clears throat> You've seen The Last Airbender. Okay, fine. It's like the third worst movie that I have ever You've seen. You've also seen so, The Last Jedi. You said like the third worst movie. You've also seen The Rise yeah. of Skywalker. No, actually, no, dude. You've also this seen, might sound stupid. You've also seen this, Multiverse of Madness. Multiverse of Madness is better than Justice League was. I'm sorry to say. Yeah, yeah, man, it was. It's, it's Madam Webb. No, 
No, I haven't. Okay, you saw the Flash. Though. Apparently, Spider Man is evil in that movie or something. No, it's not even Spider Man. Did you see the Flash though? Uh, when it came out on a, a DVD, yeah. You tell me if Snyder. Zack Snyder. Can... You tell me that's Z- worse. Zack Snyder continues to insist that a that a Batman that won't kill is irrelevant. The Rebel Moon and 300 director brought his stance on Batman's violent nature to the fore again after a discussion with. Checks notes. Joe Rogan? It's one of the oldest debates in the character's 85-year history. Should Batman kill people? No. In his quest to safeguard Gotham City. Although time and time again, Batman's darkness has pushed and pulled the character to pretty rough precipices. At least one defining creator continues to be steadfastly B on the side of uh, Bat murder. Zack Snyder. Hold on. Batman can't... One second, one second. He doesn't directly kill the same way that Spider-Man doesn't directly kill. Okay, no, but Zack no, Zach like, Snyder... People, but, like, not directly. Like, you mean Jack Nicholson's Joker dies? But he doesn't directly kill him. Michael Keaton, though, I mean, that version of uh, Batman just threw him off of the building, though. Like He didn't kill him, though, purposely. He fell off the building. Yeah, true. He fell off true. the building. True. He didn't kick him off or throw him off. He fell off. And if Batman tried to help him, into it, but Batman tried like, to grab him up, then he fell. Zack Snyder, though, has said that he has purposely made it that Batman kills, though. He has actually said that in the uh, in the uh, past. So what it says is Batman can't... Do we ever see him actually kill anybody, though? Yes. In a dream sequence, yes. Um, he does that, but he doesn't, though. Yeah, true. If Roman hasn't seen Dune because he's a fucking pleb. I loved it. I loved Dune Part 2. Did you just call me a pleb? I did, because you haven't seen Dune. You haven't seen the first or the second one. What the fuck? Dog. You have HBO? I'm over to your house. And I'm gonna watch it with you. You have HBO. I'm watch it with you. you have HBO. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so watch yeah, Dune, bro. We okay. It's, I, okay. Okay. It's on Netflix. Okay. And HBO. Dude, Most yeah. Can read the books, Jake. Fuck yeah, Jake. You read the books? I, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting back onto the second one. I'm getting back onto the second one because I read the first one. I'm probably actually going to reread the first one again and go on to the second. They're a lot different than the movies in certain aspects. But they're all, the movies are like really, really close. Not as close as the Lord of the Rings movies are to the Lord of the Rings novels. But Dune is as close as it can be without being completely weird. Because as those books go on, you can see that the author is just doing more and more drugs. Like it gets crazy. By the fourth book, there's people that just can turn into worms. Like it's it's nutty. Like it just goes into full. But that's like not even Paul Atreides' story at that point. That's just other shit. But yeah, Dune right, one. So- uh, I think it's Children of Dune, or no, Children of Dune is the fourth one. So it's like Dune one, and then Dune. I forget what the uh, second one is. Sands of Sons of Dune, Sand of Dune, something something like that. And then the third one is Dune Messiah. Dune Messiah is fucking nutty. That's where Paul Atreides is just the man. But I don't know how they're going to do it because there is a 15-year gap between uh, where we've ended this movie and where Dude Messiah takes place. So, in my opinion, there has to be like a five-year time gap, maybe, instead of a... But But then the sister doesn't make as much sense because the sister would then have to be yeah, then his then Paul's sister would because she's a teenager in Messiah. So I, unless I they recast Paul Atreides, but that doesn't make sense. I don't know how you're gonna age up Timothy Chalamet. He looks like a kid. Like I am a hundred percent with what Crimson said here. I don't have an innate aversion to the idea of Batman killing. It comes down to how you go about it. Batfleck using machine guns was uh, uh, retarded, though. True. Yeah, I yes. agree with that. 
All right, so but let's yeah, see what uh real quick to finish up my point to Jake's <clears throat> question. Yeah, I want to go see it again. All right. Um maybe I'll take Roman to go see it or some shit. But yeah, I, I think that they would really have to change some things around. Like instead of his sister being 16 in the third book, she would be which, you know, she's a lot more capable at that age than she would be at 6. So they're going to have to do some weird either changing the story in that way or actually aging everybody up, which, again, I don't know how you would do that with Zendaya and Timothy Chalamet unless you're just going to recast. You'd have to recast everybody almost. Re recast Zendaya would be wild, though. Well, you would have to, like, because if it's 15 years yes. later, like, how do you, they, they all have baby faces still, bro. They look so young. They're Hollywood actors. Yes. They're going to be young as shit forever. Like, so, I don't know how you're going to do that unless you, like, but then, like, what's some of the things his sister does in Dune Messiah, like, a six-year-old can't accomplish? You'd have to be 16, at least, you know? yeah. Like to fight somebody or things like like that, like so. I don't know. I don't know. They'll figure. It. I'm sure any right. villain will figure it out. All right, so I'm going to play this uh, clip and uh, we'll see what uh, we'll see what Snyder has to say on it. I've read those two comics. It's hard to go back. Mm. You know. To like, yeah. it, you you want to, and it's because I care that I want to take them apart. Like I want Batman. Like people are always like, well, Batman, I, Batman can't kill, right? So Batman can't kill is canon. And I'm like, okay, well, the first thing I want to do when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> is I want to see what oh, come on. happens. And they go like, well, don't put him in a situation where he has to kill someone. I'm like, mm. well, that's just like you're protecting your God in a weird way, right? right? You're making your God irrelevant if he can't be in that situation. He has to now deal with that. Yeah. You know, if he does do that, what does that mean? What is it? What is it? What does it tell you? But does he stand up to it? Can he survive that? Right. As a, as a God, as your God, can Batman survive that? I never thought that that was canon that Batman can't kill. But well, for a lot of people, it is. That seems ridiculous given the circumstances in which he operates. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> Oh man. I mean it's, it's obvious not, and hold on, it's not necessarily canon. It's his mantra. He doesn't want to kill. Has he? Yes. It's his code. And yeah, but when he it's does his code, like, yeah. But when Yeah, but still, Jake, even waiting five years, you gotta keep in mind that whether or not this movie garners a large audience. Yeah, I'll pull that up actually on screen. Whether or not Dune garners a very large audience for this second one, even still, at that point, five years is a long time. Avatar 2 only got the major, major, like, influx of people that it got at the box office. Because of the fact that Avatar 1 broke the world in the fact that it was the biggest cinematic achievement in CGI ever. In CGI. At alone. But that was enough to bring everybody and their grandma to go and see it. So, hold on one second. Yes, it, it does. It has very deep roots in the novels. But, Jake, it's not... It's a very niche book, and it's a hard book for people to get into that aren't big sci-fi guys like you and me who like that level of detail, that level of story, that level of like intrigue. Like you're a Game of Thrones guy, so am I. So it's like the same type of shit. Like it's like very Game of Thrones esque. And even George R. R. Martin, who wrote Game of Thrones, said he got influence from Dune. And exactly, Jake. And Dune is very. Very niche, though. It, just because it's the best selling doesn't mean that a ton of people can't get into it. I know a lot of people that have read it and haven't been able to finish it because it's a very hard book to get through, especially the first half of the first one. 
while we may enjoy it, it's hard for a normie to get into it. And through that, this movie needs to really garner a big audience, which it already has. And it has great word of mouth. People are going to see it multiple times. Some people I know have seen it six times already. And this movie needs to have a, in order to keep its legs running, and the popcorn bucket meme helped it and stuff like that. But in order to keep this movie's legs running, it needs to announce that the third one is coming out. And it needs to announce when. And if you say it's coming out five years from now, the normies are going to forget about it by then. Until the trailer drops. And there's a possibility it might not have the same amount of people the first time that it had this, the second or, or the first or second they have the third. So, so they really to, need to like cut this out. To uh to answer Crimson's question, there um in the Injustice books, Batman does kill Joker because Joker bombs Metropolis, therefore killing Lois, and then that turns Superman into like a you know uh into like you know a, you know, dictator. Um, he can kill, but he doesn't, and no one is saying not to put him in situations like that. He's in those all the time, but he finds a way out of it without killing. Exactly. Um, okay. Hold on. Pilgrim also said... I'm trying to take this down. He said, if he kills, it makes Jason's character more... Or it makes Jason's character irrelevant. Yeah, because that's literally the whole point of Batman... Under the Red Hood. That that's literally the whole point. Is that Jason um Jason wants uh Jason wants Batman to kill Joker because Joker killed him, but Batman will not kill Joker because then that makes him just as bad. Yes. Superman does kill does kill Joker. Right, sorry. It's it's, it's been a while since I have read that story. Sorry. Yeah, I think Superman punches him through the heart, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's like... Totally. I was thinking of a... I was thinking still, of a different... still laughing and smiling with his fucking... Yeah. It's good shit. Yeah. It's a good time. I was thinking of a... I was thinking of a... I was thinking of a different book is uh what I was thinking of. But yeah, I mean, hey. I don't know, man. It's uh. I, don't I think, think it's that crazy that, like, you know, all of these stories, like, I always find it funny that I'm, like, in this day and age, like, I get it. I get it. It was a different time. But I just always think, I'm, like, how does the Joker get away with it all when, like, the military would just airstrike his fucking base, like? Bro, <laughs> right? Right? Like, they found Osama Bin Laden. They can find the Joker, <laughs> like. But they Dude. just instead of the military, the military is like, oh yeah, he can just bomb shit. Batman and Superman will take care Personally, of it. Personally, bro, I don't think they want to find him. I don't think they want to find him because dudes got like bazookas and like in certain like versions of him, Joker has like tanks and like you know all of that stuff. And he's oh, yeah, like no, he has crazy, a private, he has so. a private army. He, yeah. he literally makes a private army. Versions of Batman can kill. You got the multiverse. In uh, DC, so sure, but the main continuity Batman shouldn't agree. And when you got yeah, something like uh, the film What's Batman, that? it should be as close to canon as possible. Of course, of course, it should be. Of course. What's the agree. Batman? Um, what's the one that's like full like bodysuit, like um, like Spider Man, but he has like big ass horns. He's black and he has the red bat symbol on his chest, and he has like these spines sticking off his elbows. And this. You're thinking of um Batman, like future Batman or some shit. Like he looks cool. Like I don't remember what he Batman is. Batman Beyond. Maybe Batman Beyond. He's sick. Wait, wait, wait. Like, he, he should Hold definitely be, He should be able to kill. Huh. I think Batman that is Batman Beyond. Beyond. Hold no, on. not Red Death. I don't think it, it's a black. You're talking about uh black out all you... black out Batman, like full body suit. You... Like you talking about him? Yeah. That nigga should He's kill. sick. He kill. He's sick. That man should kill. I loved this show. 
as a kid. I loved this show. This is like edgy Batman, bro. Batman is a kill. Like, yeah, but awesome. unfortunate. Well, ah, I, I don't know. Honestly, Jake, I don't really disagree with you, but I can't stop loving it. Like, I'm in like, you know. No, you I, I don't. Real, I don't agree really with Jake. With I'm, I, I never really gave that much of a fuck. It was just a couple characters that I liked. Like, I loved Batman. I loved Deadpool. I loved um, uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man's always been my favorite. Doctor Strange. No, no, no. Spider-Man's always been my favorite. When the movies came out, I liked, you know, Thor and Doc Strange and Iron Man. Like, Iron Man is the shit. So it's like, basically for me, it was like Batman, Iron Man, Spider-Man. Like, Spider-Man is the shit. Spider-Man is number one. And then Batman, and then like Deadpool and Iron Man. And like, I'm like I'm vaguely interested in the rest of them. But those ones I actually like, but like I'm mostly interested in Batman and Spidey. It's cool. And, and, and it, it, it depends though, because like Deadpool one had a ton of depth. Like I don't consider Deadpool to be a superhero. There you go, Crimson. Deadpool's not you mad, hey. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, but. Jake, um, if you have time, watch, um, watch the movie, watch, uh, The Watchmen, or also read the, uh, comic. The Watchmen will get you thinking. Trust me when I tell you. Watchmen will get you thinking. Also, The Dark Knight will also get you thinking about, like, what choices you would make in certain, like, situations and all that stuff. I still love superheroes. Like I said, I'm in an abusive relationship where, like, I can't let it go because I just love it so much. Like, guys... I'm wearing an X-Men shirt, okay? Like, look at this. Yeah, I gotta get a private chat real quick. Oh, uh, okay. Philosophy. Oh, uh, okay. I got you. Um, all right. No, Jake, that's why... That's why when see he still hasn't watched the Lord of the Rings extended editions. Jake, you need to come over to my Jake, house. You have to yes. That's the plan. Also, you, you come over to the we crib. Should film it, bro. You, you come over to the crib and we watch Lord of the Rings extended editions. We gotta film it too, bro. See Jake's like reaction to it. I mean, we don't have to. Jake doesn't want to be on camera. He doesn't have to be. Okay, true. Sorry, Jake. I shouldn't have, you know, I should not have assumed your, you know, gender there. I'm sorry. I'm what? sorry about that. What? I don't think that's an assumption. He's got a girlfriend. I actually, like, bro, I had a random ass dream last night. We were having a bonfire and Jake was there. I was like, yo. Really? Yeah. It was just like a random ass, like, 30 second dream. And then I woke up. It's like a bonfire. I think. It's like a bonfire at somebody's house, and I just walked out back, and Jake was like, "Yeah, dude," and I was like, "Yeah, dude," and it's just I like, think that that means that we need to have one soon. I think that that's what that means. Yeah, that's what my brain's telling me. The weather's getting nice. Yeah, he said need to have a bonfire right. ASAP. Hell yeah! Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we that's will. what I'm we saying. Will. We will. Hey guys, party at rolls. Hey guys, again? party at rolls again. Hey guys, I'm free a couple of Saturdays from now if y'all are down, if y'all know what I mean. Wink, wink. <laughs> the fuck does that mean if you know what I mean? Why'd you say it like that? I'm fire day, baby. Uh -oh. You you and Rolo making a home tape? Stop it, bro. Stop. 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 Nah, Crimson, honestly, Roman hasn't even seen the full extended editions of Lord of the Rings. Roland. Screw a bonfire, a party at your house? 
Facts. Party at Rolls. Party at Rolls part like 10. We should have a party in your shed again. Do you remember that used to be a thing? We used to have a game, like a group chat called Party at Rolls. And it was just every, uh-huh. Friday, every Friday we'd have a bonfire at my house. It was like soft. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up, Crimson. Shut up. Nah, he hasn't. He wouldn't be able I to sent Chicken that. Man. I sent the link to uh, someone. Okay. Well, let's see if uh, that person understands how to use it. Fool. Foolish child. I can understand Trav not seeing the, the Lord of the Rings, but how has Kenobi not seen them? Because he's always in our chat. That's like why. Wait, 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 wait. Kenobi? I forgot he said he's never seen Lord of the Rings. That's crazy. Makes me blow up. It blows my mind. Like, you would think with him being like a Star Wars fan, like, the, like eventually you would like cross over to, you know, Lord of the Rings. Nah, Jake, I want to watch them with you. Like, I don't even care if we make, like, content out of it. Like, I just want to see your reactions to it. Yeah, same. Like, Jake, you're going to love him, bro. Like, I want to watch Lord of the Rings with someone who's never seen it before. Like, even if we go on Discord. like Ronnie still still hasn't seen it? Ronnie! Ban him from the channel. He makes Lord of the Rings. I'm kidding. No, Jake, I'm totally down. I would love to watch, like, do, like, one a fucking weekend or something. I'm down, bro. The thing is, everybody's like, oh, they're so long, but, like, it doesn't... They don't feel long, though. It doesn't feel that way when you're watching it. At all. The only thing that makes you feel that way is you look out the window and you're like, oh, it's dark now. Yeah. Like, the movie is so... You are so engaged in everything going on. They do. They did. They do like once in a while. They ju- they're going. I think they just released Return of the King like in December. I just went and saw it, or before that, I think. Yeah, they released them back in theaters. Like it was just the twentieth uh, anniversary of Return of the King, so they just released the third one, extended edition in theaters. My mom and I went and saw it. It's fucking spectacular. Because I never got to see that one. I never got to see any of Lord of the Rings in theaters. So, for all of the uh, 20th anniversaries, I went and saw them. Which was awesome. That's sick, bro. And I the one time... That's sick, bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was, was like, yeah, Jake, I think it could have used an extra, like, 30 minutes. Like, an extra 30 to 40 minutes. Maybe, like, pad out that battle scene a little bit more. Add a little bit more into there. Maybe a little bit more character development points. Dude, there's no... Exactly, Crimson. See, like, Jake, you will... There will be parts in this movie when you get there that you will literally get full fucking chills and you'll be screaming like they are. You'll be like, DEATH! DEATH! Like, you'll be sitting in your seat like, YO, LET'S GO! Like, dude, it is the hypest moment in movie fucking history. Shield shall be splintered! Spears shall be broken! It's a red day! And a strong day! And the sun rises! Full of Rohirrim! Like, yeah, you should. Yes, yes. It brings out your manly side. Dude, yeah, you'll you'll feel like you want to follow these fuckers into battle. Like you want to jump through the screen and be like riding a horse. Dude, right you now. want to go to war when yeah, you're watching that. Yeah, makes you want to go to war with them and be like, yeah, let's fuck, yeah. Especially that one motherfucker on the horse in that scene. They just zoom in on the one guy who's just like he's like real, like like growling, just like eh, yeah, yeah, like shaking his sword about to go run up and murk these fucking orcs. It just makes me want to be like, yeah, fuck them. And when you hear that horn, it's like, and even the Witch King is just like, yes, yes, Crimson. Lord of the Rings will put hair on your grandma's chest. That's fucking facts. Lord of the Rings will put fucking hair on your balls, no matter what. (laughs) 
Yeah, I'll be. No, sorry. You had fucking right. earbuds in, you fool. Oh, well, you're in school. Pilgrim, you listen to this show with head with you know this headphones cool. in. You've been to school. Like, school? What are you talking about? Oh no, he's twenty. He's out of school. Never mind. He's probably working. True. True. Watching, watching the, uh, watching the Roller Rome cast at work. I mean, honestly, I watching the Roller Rome cast with earbuds in is just you're doing it to yourself. Yeah, like you're actively choosing to watch us. You're doing it with to headphones in. Yeah. Yeah, like. We're on episode 76 now, bro. Like, oh, like full volume in the car. Like, yeah, you're just asking for it. I'm sorry, Pilgrim. School. What is he, Ronnie? I'm watching this at work right now. That's sick. Yeah, I know. Crimson watches right. this at work. I'm going to give Chicken Man a few more minutes. Brave. And then if you don't show, I got one more thing that I want to talk about. All right, I'll call. I'll call his dumbass, and I'm still fine. Well, you know, okay. In fairness, I'm still fine. I feel fine. In fairness to Pilgrim, Crim, uh, Crimson, he he does have California air going into his ears, so like, you know, that might damage him a little bit. It's possible. California Air, yes, sir. Yes, sir. California Air is, uh, I don't know, y'all just different breeds, bro, but still not as crazy as Florida because Floridians are insane. Floridians fight over, like, there, there was, like, a Florida dude who, like, tried to crawl into an alligator to, like, because, like, the alligator, like, said something to him or something. And he, like, tried to fight him. Also, shout out to Rissman, because I think he lives in Florida. But I'm not really sure. He's one of the he's one of the few cool people that, you know, live in Florida. Floridians eat pancakes. Okay, no, dude. Listen, 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 listen. You guys get the same air, okay? All right, listen. You guys, you guys get the same air. All right. Crimson Floridians, bro. Like Floridians are built different, bro. They can like run through walls and like it, if you hit them with a tank, they they'll like survive. They're crazy. They're actually crazy. Full of rain. Hey, it rains a lot for y'all there. Does it? Does it rain a lot? I know in uh, Pennsylvania, we 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 probably get rain like half of the winter and like all of spring, and then it, it hardly rains in like the summer, and then it like rains again in like the fall. Like, there's, like, three or four days where, like, hey, what's going on? What's going on, Zach? Chicken, he's muted. Chicken, Zach, we can't hear you. <laughs> this 
scuffed. You're he's muted. Not. Oh wait. Why can't we hear him? I can't hear him either. Yeah, I can't hear him out. Yeah, you ruined himself. R- rain is water. Water is life. Callie freaks out during a uh, light misting. Bro, you should see them Mike, you can get in their car accidents. Just Mike, accidents. Mike Barron has a comic out called Florida Man vs. Uh, Hogzilla. Ow. Oh, fuck! There we go. But now, you know? yes, sir. Hey, all right, cool. There we go. What's going on, chicken? What up, little hey, chicken? Jake in the chat, chicken clucking. Yes, sir. Chicken clucking. Yep. That's Travis. Flick Travis doesn't miss any any of this. You know, he sees every minute of these episodes. Oh no, he watches every week. He always pops in. Yeah. Yep, Trav is always here. He's always here. That's what's up. He's a regular. What's going on, Zach? Not much. But I'm just doing stuff for work right now. There we go. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Keep it going. Keep it going. Talking to some girls on Snapchat, you know, having my own fun with that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Roman, who are you Snapchatting these days? What's your name? Huh? What are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not talking, dude. That's that's private. That's what? private. That's that's a uh, that's private information. Well, you don't Zach. I will tell you. I will. I will tell you. I'll. I'll and tell you outside you of stream. You don't say that. I, yeah. 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 Bro, you don't say that. You say I'm talking to a girl, she's chilling. That's it. You don't okay. write this whole Pilgrim, shut up. Look at me shut and up, like Pilgrim. look at me and Roman just like surrounding Zach right now. Hold on, hold on, Roman. Who are who are you talking to these days? I'm not saying that on stream, bro. I'm not saying that on stream. Is I'm not saying that on stream. What's his name? <laughs> what does that mean? You're not funny, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sound like a monkey. Pause. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, har, 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 Zach. You are hilarious. Aww. You know that? Yeah, you know what also, I think Paul's safe during? Uh, the Spider-Man with all three of them in it. What? The Spider-Man with all three of them in it. No way home. Oh. You no still haven't finished that fucking no movie, home. Huh? You still haven't finished that movie? No, I, I kind of gave up on it ever since Avatar came out. I've been watching Avatar and one episode for that. Jake. What did Jake say? <laughs> Chicken that's man. Fucking, that's fucking weird, dude. <laughs> Just the thought of you fucking thinking of that is weird. <laughs> fucking nut job. <clears throat> He's got a point. He does have a little bit of a point. What? Who's talking to him on Snapchat? I don't go on Snapchat. Ask anybody. Roll. Yeah, no. no, true. I'll send Roland all these Roland things. Is... And he never looks at him, dude. Roland I'll doesn't go on Snapchat, bro. I will literally answer him about a Snapchat he sent me like three months ago. And I'll be like, that was sick, bro. I'll be <laughs> like, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what was sick? <laughs> I'll be like that thing with the guy. Like that was pretty cool. <laughs> I'm never on there anymore, bro. I'm only on there to ch- lurk in the group chat every once in a while. How are you doing, though, Zach? Good. Yeah, you know, I'm starting this new job, and they want all these clearances, and. It's just going to pay the ass to get them all. And I yeah. sent in my results, and like they're telling me that they can't find my name on the test result. Oh, Lord. Well, that sounds like a them problem. Yeah, man. It like, literally does. It sounds like something they fucked up, not you. I, I got to just like retake pictures and send documents in and make sure I'm good to go. But I do start training. Why is that on you? 
why is that on you? They can't just run a quick check on you. Wait, you have to be trained. You know, you do this exact same job for like months. That's what I need to talk to Andrew about. Like, do I even need to go through training because I was just doing on this like a month you ago? You don't train a substitute teacher. Yeah, Snapchat is gay. Snapchat, Snapchat might might be stupid, but it doesn't like shut down. I love every, like two weeks. So. I love. <laughs> hey, you love Snapchat because you get free porn bots that says you dudes. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. I can't disagree. That is definitely true. That is definitely what true. What did you say? Something sure. about porn mods and what? No, I said porn bots that send you free news. No, it's just, it's just, you know, the <laughs> my friend, it's the shit my friend He's sent not me. even denying it. He's not even no, denying no, it. I actually the first thing that. I said was no. Um, no, no, no. Or Roman, you fucking retard. Um, I'm just saying that most <laughs> times that my friend sent me some shit, you know, it's like between the boys, you know, you have group chats. I like Snapchat more than I think I like fucking like Facebook. Well, no, no. Snapchat is the best thing for group chats. That's 100% true. Snapchat true. is the best for group chats. And also on top of that, Snapchat also has like the memories thing, which I think is really cool. Because I like seeing random shit from like sophomore year that just pops up. I agree because like. Stuff can vanish on like Snapchat, and if someone sends you a weird message, you can never see it uh, again, unless unless you save it in chat. That's I mean, actually very true. It's, I mean, I don't know about all that. I think OnlyFans is for weirdos. Tumblr is for weirdos. I think Snapchat's just for people that like to be in contact with each other in a different way than just texting. A lot of people use Snapchat, but it doesn't necessarily mean that Snapchat is like poor weirdos. Is there weirdos on there? Yeah, but there's weirdos everywhere. Yeah, true. That's a lot of feedback from your neck. Bring your volume down a little bit. Snapchat's for narcissists. Uh, That's I funny because. I can't disagree with that. Like, there's a lot of that's funny. There. That's funny because Damio literally added me on Snapchat, like you know, a week back. Well, so, I would just say that in general, social media. I'm kidding, Damio. I'm kidding. I would say that in general, social media is for narcissists. That's true, but I also it, would. It's, it's for like like it is perfect for narcissists to grow. Where I also have like, a counterpoint though. Yo, someone hold on, who hold on. Does... Your regular people, your regular people are fine. Sorry. But like it is it is a hive, like it is a a honey pot for narcissists. Pilgrim's got a point. The whole message disappears once it has been seen and lets you know if someone took a screenshot, it's just asking for it to be used in a weird way. It's true. I it's true. It's true. It's true. Um what I would say about social media being like for narcissists, um Quick, I think some girls want you to Snapchat or screenshot their picture. Okay, no, but look. Okay. That's not what so, that's what girls do sometimes, man. So, I post my content <laughs> onto, you know, social media. Does that make me a narcissist? Like, no. Just posting doesn't make right. you a narcissist. Look, Roland, where's your face at, dude? Hold on, I'm doing something. Oh, my God. But, um... No, like not necessarily. Like I'm saying, it is a it, it is a, like a, a like a gold mine for narcissists. I'm not saying it's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. but but it like for a narcissist, any social media is a fucking gold mine. I get what you're saying. You get attention, like what you get is when Snapchat first came out, that shit was popping. Everyone loved Snapchat. Fuck yeah, dude! People yeah. were drawing like. Goofy pictures on each other and shit, and sending it to each other, and like it was used to basically in middle school and high school, it was just used to fuck with your friends, and then it got meme, like meme all of your friends. That was basically the whole point of it was just like take a picture of your friend at lunch when he's not looking, or just yell his name and he turns around with like a fucking hot dog in his mouth. You take a picture of him, you meme it. No, maybe not. <laughs> Roland doesn't have a dong. Let's all be, let's all be real. Yeah, I don't have either of those. 
the House of uh, Representatives unanim unanimously what? approved what? a bill that could ban TikTok forever. Motherfucker, they've tried that like four times. Yeah, I haven't got. I know, right? TikTok. That wasn't my wave. Uh, yeah, it's not my wave either. I just post my edits on there when I make it, and people like them. Remember Vine, guys? Remember no, when Vine, was Vine was the shit. Vine was popping. <laughs> My buddy John had some really funny, funny ass vines, dude. I wish I could go back and look vine at Vine was awesome, bro. V vine was Vine was funny. But... Vine had some hilarious shit on there back in the day. <laughs> vine was pretty. Twenty thirteen Vine was like peak for like you know humor, and then there was also um the knockoff of uh, YouTube Daily Motion. Oh man, that. That was fun too. I used to watch movies for free on Daily Motion. Really? The yeah. quality was like Yo, terrible this, on there, but yeah. Arrest this man. He che he's cheating. Yeah, I don't do it anymore. So, um, Robin. Yeah. I just got my new monitor in. My first time having oh. a 4K monitor. And I, the first, what do you think the first game I played was on it? Spider Man. Spider Man, you're absolutely fucking right. It looks so good, dude. Dude, so good. the new updates came out today, and I'm gonna be playing it on the uh, channel soon. So it just yeah. said it just said Spider Man downloaded something real quick on my on top of my screen. But what came out? Uh, they added suits, new game plus, and, and also uh, the symbiote's getting the uh, correct tendril colors. You can like change the color of the uh, symbiote suit. So yeah. Oh, I haven't even beat the game yet. I'm at, like like twenty eight or twenty seven percent. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> bro. I'm just been playing so much. Y'all play Hell Divers? Please tell me you play Hell Divers. I haven't yet. I haven't. Oh, yet. Roland has it. He's over there playing with his dong. Yep, that confirms. No answer. That means he confirms it. He's over there playing with his dong. Um, I've been playing Tekken Eight. I love Tekken. It's what I grew up on. So like, Tekken I will. Out, bro. No, 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 I will no, watch no, you. No. I will watch you. I will watch you in Tekken. I will watch you in Tekken. You're gonna watch me play Tekken. You're gonna watch me in Tekken. What's, what does that mean? I will. I will. I will demolish you as king. I will demolish you as king. Kin is like my uh, name, bro. What about the fuck him up right now? You're gonna lose, bro. I wish I could have my hand here, but it's not happening. <laughs> You're gonna lose, bro. The game is sick for those who like, you know, fighters. We gotta one. play Tekken, Roland, and it'd be fun. Oh, dude. I, did, I did play Tekken the other night. With Zach. No, I, gotta oh. you, I gotta beat you in Tekken and take you to a strip club. And a ball. Yeah, those, those are the three we things. We should film that. We should film that. Dude, make it a vlog. We'll take Roman to the strip club. We'll go to the bar. We'll go to the bar, <laughs> take Roman to the strip club, and then go home and play Tekken. <laughs> dude, the whole the whole thing. We'll vlog the whole John. Dude. Dude. That was Roman, fun. Roman, are you a Phillies oh. fan? Yeah. A Phillies fan? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Dude, I am the biggest Phillies fan ever. Uh, okay? We anyway, we'll, we'll go to a Phillies game, and then we'll go down there to, uh, what's it called? Uh, cheerleaders. Okay. I'm down. <laughs> Rolling, All right. Rolling's down. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So, um, you boys can continue stream, but I gotta get on out of here. Um, so, I, I don't know, um, what y'all else want to talk about, but I promised my family that I would do something for them around this time, and it, I'm not gonna be able to come back. So, yeah. Bye. Um, so. Roman has got a dip. I will see you all next week. And I trust Roland and Zach to, you know, keep this going. I love you that guys. And for a couple minutes. Yeah.
Um, Roland, text or call me in a couple days or, you know, whenever you're free. Zach. Ronnie just got here and you're leaving. What? Ronnie just got here and you're leaving. Look at that. I'm, I, I am leaving <laughs> in spite of Ronnie. I will <laughs> see. I will see you guys later. I will love y'all. Do later. All right, then we have control. We have full control now. Now that idiot's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, no, we do though. We do whatever we want. No, but I figured we'll go for like another few minutes. Might as well. What's up, Ronnie? Ramen. Dude, you said this ramen fears me. I love that he calls him ramen. It's my favorite. Ramen does fear you. Ow. Ow. Pilgrim, fuck you. He said, Zach, you dox Rolo now. What? Because you doxed Roman. So he's like, can you dox Rolo now? I'm sorry, what does that what does that mean? I'm I'll be maybe a little like Doxing is like showing where someone lives. My mom's doing fine. <laughs> Going to a comedy show tonight with my dad. I remember that. Yeah, Ronnie. She's doing fine. She's doing fine. Doing good. Totally keeping it going. Uh she's on her way home from work. How how are you doing, Ronnie? What's school, little man? How's it going? The young bull of the chat. And I don't mean that as an insult. Ronnie's a base bull. So, Zach, what are you thinking about Avatar so far? I like it. Me and Alex were talking about it the other day. Um, I, I like how it's like pretty spot on. I don't know if they're missing much. Did you make it to the Spirit World episode yet? No, he's talking to Boomy right now. Okay, that's where it really goes. To, for me, that's where it really goes off of the show. Like it's it's completely different. I think it's like and it's secret tunnel. Did you make it to the secret tunnel or no? Because no. the secret tunnel is not. That's that's Ang and Katara. That's not Sokka and. Um, he's. Not, I remember waking. I. No, you don't understand. I fall asleep and I wake up, and I woke up to that. Then talk about a secret tunnel. Yeah, like the secret tunnel is not in Amashu. It's how they get there. Yes. Yes. They're at Amashu right now. Yeah, it's how they get to Amashu is the secret tunnel. And then instead, like Sokka gets separated. He's with the band of like dudes singing and the chick. And then like Katara and Aang are stuck with Appa going through there. And then they end up kissing and that lights the way out. Which is kind of weird when you put the brother and the sister in that situation instead. I mean, they don't kiss, but like it's still weird. So, I don't know. I, I, it's. Um, I'm fighting Roman's guy, King. Sorry. Yeah. For a promotional match. Did you make any characters in Tekken yet? Yeah, I made steak. You made Snake? Yeah, I'm playing him right now. Can you show me afterwards? Yeah, sure. I can try to show you after. Oh, you just cut out for a second. That was weird. That's what's weird. Yeah, I think that's a really cool aspect. You can make characters like that. Yeah, dude. And this guy's dope. <laughs> like, he's just quick. Fuck it up. There. Yeah, let's see. Dude, he is Snake. What? He's got the gun too, like. Dude, he's literally solid snake. That's so fucking dope. 
You got the eye patch and everything, right? Yeah, only his glasses on. I can give him an eye patch. No, nah, you gotta give him the eye patch. Keep can you keep the headband and give him the eye patch? Yeah. Okay, you gotta do that. Just destroyed him. That's so sick. Snake it up. You want an online match right now? Yeah, he's with my ass right now. Yeah, this dude's wild. Mm. No, I was never a big Tekken guy because I didn't have a PlayStation. Yeah, PlayStation was the first thing I had. He's going to beat me. Maybe not. All right. Yeah, man. Sick. That was dope. Yeah, the game's mad fun. Well, I know. I played it. I fought uh, Allie. Oh, my God. Remember I was first in Allie? Right? Is that her name? Who? No, no, no. Who's Ben's girl? Mallory. Mallory. Oh, Mallory. That's right. Who won that? You or her? I, I did. <laughs> that's funny. I wasn't even like... I don't like to say it this way, but it's like I wasn't going like too hard. You were talking about your ass. It's all good. I wasn't. Liar. I also made Wolverine. What? You made, made Wolverine? Wolverine? Yeah, you want to see him? Yeah, show me. I couldn't. There's no like hair for him. And I'm using Steve. If you know who Steve is in Tekken. I do not. I can't believe there's five people still watching. This is this interesting. I feel like we're just at this point. We're just like doing this to like I'm rounding it out to uh, four thirty basically. Does anyone in the chat game like? Does anyone? Oh the- yeah, yeah. I've gamed with some of these people here. What do they? What is their go to? Uh, Ronnie, what's your go to video game? Pilgrim, yeah, question for the chat. I can't put a poll in there because I don't have control over YouTube, so I can't put like a poll in the chat or else I would. By the way, that wouldn't even work. It'd have to be like on the community page. Really? Minecraft's a good one. I'm not even gonna lie. But you might be careful because you're rounding. But still. You guys know my favorite franchise, but it's not my favorite game. Favorite game of all time, though, is completely different than favorite game. Is that really true, Pilgrim? The last game you played was Wii Sports? What? That's a great game. <laughs> 2009? Yay, Ronnie, no, you fucking put call next to Wii Sports. Wii Sports was the shit. Wii Sports Resort was better because they had the fencing. That was badass. And the boxing and shit. You could knock the person off the ledge into the water if you were good enough at fencing. That shit was fire. I'd be going like... I'd be fighting my Dooku, bro. It was awesome. Game was so much fun. You could fly planes and shit. Yeah, it was cool. You were too poor for a Wii. It was mad cheap. I think your parents just do it. <laughs> Pilgrim, good. That's a good comeback, actually. Okay. Minecraft with the skull. I don't even know what Crimson's is. I forget. I think Crimson's been playing Helldivers. Great game, dude. I mean, <laughs> that game is amazing. So much fun. I think you're loving Helldivers. Crim- yeah. uh, Caleb's been playing Helldivers a lot, X-Wing, Drunk 3PL, all the homies. They're all playing it. Yeah, I'm going to show you Wolverine real quick. Not, yeah, show me Wolverine. It's not crazy, dude. It's just like I can't change much. <clears throat> you can't change the skin tone on the characters. So I was going to try to make, make Mike Tyson as Steve. Steve's the boxer in the game. Oh, bro. Make John Cena. <laughs> Did 
fucking funny as fuck. Well, he just kicked himself out. There we go. Uh, let me let him back in. Yeah, whoops. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty sick. It's as good as it's going to get. That's good enough. Yeah. He fights like a boxer. <laughs> oh, I dig it. Yeah, that's pretty sick. There's no, like... I don't know what you call it, superhero clothes. Uh, they had the claws like as an asset. Yeah, so once I saw that, I was like, yo, I'm gonna give this to Steve. They probably put that in there on purpose. Yeah, we're gonna fight someone online, see the if I can if I can beat him. Snake's snake's uh cool, but he's not strong. Like show uh, me snake again. Like show me full snake. I will when I right, fine. I think it's so cool you just make characters. Wait. I'm gonna make you full screen real quick. I put a shotgun on his back. Yeah, see if you can put a uh, see if you can put like a um eye patch on. It's weird. It says item move command. Like, are you tell me I can use a shotgun? Yeah, got a shotgun on his back. Yeah, he definitely changed the glasses to. An eye patch. <laughs> it literally looks like snake, dude. That's oh so sick. That is pretty sweet. That's badass. You like try other shit on too. Stupid. Naked snake. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's I wish I could take this stupid um sword off of him. The pink one. Also, I can get these long ass. Is it longer than? Yeah, he doesn't wear red. Yeah, no, he doesn't wear red. You can the color of it. Upper body. I don't know if I really knew. It's all, dude. There's all different kinds of shit, you know. Dude, that's so fucking sick. <laughs> oh, you make an inspector from fucking um, what's it called? From uh. Man. The military, he put this on. He also has, remember him in the, in the beret? He has the beret. Yeah. I don't know which metal gear it is. But yeah. Uh, metal Gear was, three, I think. <laughs> so my, my buddy made the Green Ranger. Yeah, you told me about that. That's sick. Yeah, now I just want to go fight as Wolverine. All right, what's good? What are you guys? What are you? What are you doing? What do you want to do? I don't know. I want to stop you from full screen and put it back to this. Oh shit! All right. I do on full screen just so that can, right. just just so they could see the uh, solid snake because I thought that was pretty cool. You can do that in Tekken. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I think in a few minutes here we're gonna end it up. So 
Let's see how Wolverine does in your match, and I'll probably end the stream. I figure four four thirty is a good time. But we'll keep it going in a few more minutes. We'll keep talking, keep hanging out. Uh, glad that I'm actually off tomorrow. That'll be fun. But I'm gonna be doing the same thing that I do at work, which is cleaning fish tanks. Yeah. This time I'll be able to listen to YouTube there, right, though. I'm fighting Lars. Oh boy. I don't know who that is. Definitely new. Definitely a new character. I have no idea who that is, mate. Yo, Battlefront came out yesterday. Or today. Wait, what? Battlefront came out today. It's not a crossplay, though. You're muted. I don't know why, but you are. Hey, Pilgrim, thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that, my man. That means a lot. That's awesome. Zach, uh, you're muted. I don't know why. I can unmute you. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why you're muted, but... Uh, thank you, Pilgrim, for dropping that in there for me. You're the man. Uh, if you have the, um, I don't know if you have the X link too. But that'd be great. Grand Admiral Lolo on on X. I think I'm still at at least. I should be. Thank you. But it's at Lolo the Lord, so. Yeah, you guys are fine on there. And so everybody else, shout out to the regulars. I mean, you guys know where to follow RG Energy on everything. Zach, is there anywhere you want to follow you? Um, no, I'm all right. I mean, my Instagram, I think I've put out there before. Zach to seven. That's about it. All right. There we go. Follow him on Zach to seven. We get some cool shit. You might see me being an idiot on there every once in a while. That or just music? <laughs> Pretty much. Some good music at that. So I guess I mean Oh, alright. Thank you, Pilgrim. You rock, buddy. Yeah, see, he's on top of it. He's the best moderator. Look at that. Alright, yo. Hit me up when you're off here. I got you, buddy. Later, guys. Thanks for coming on. And honestly, everybody else, thank you so much for coming on to the show today. I'm gonna cut it in just a second here. I know it's been such a weird schedule for us the past couple weeks. You know how life is. Kind of things just get screwed around. But we love doing this no matter what. Like I said before last week, we're never going to miss a show. Uh, Monday Night Mayhem, since Roman's not here to announce it, since we didn't get to do Monday Night Mayhem this past Monday, we will be doing it this Monday evening, probably around 7.30, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you will see a post on Roman's channel about that. I'll probably make a post about it on uh, X as well. So then you guys can tell when we're actually going to be streaming about that. And I think we're going to do Nazi conspiracies this week. I'm going to double check with him if he still wants to do that. But we'll, we'll figure it out. We have a couple ideas about what the, um, what the Monday Night Mayhem is going to be. So without further ado, I'm going to end this show up right now and stop blabbering to all of y'all because we're about at two hours and 50 minutes Almost three hours stream today. It was a wonderful time. I'm glad that Roman was able to stay for a lot longer. And I really thank all you guys for last week for hanging out with me and letting me continue it going. Thank you, Pilgrim. I'm glad you really liked it. And if you want to pop on, my friend, you're totally welcome. I'll send you the link for that. Um, but, yeah, guys, thank you so much. I'll talk to you all soon. And you know what? Quite frankly, hail the fellowship. You guys all rock. Enjoy your weekends. I know it's Thursday, but get through Friday. Enjoy that weekend, and we will be talking to you Monday evening. Keep an eye out. Hey, guys, much love. Peace out.